Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> I left the mic super loud. <gasps> this is probably a little more reasonable. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Wait a second. I was recording something just as a test earlier. Although I think it's actually a bit quiet. I might be able to turn it up a little. Hold on. Hey, that's a what about this? This is probably a good compromise around here. What it was at earlier was kind of loud. <laughs> Cause then I'll end up for a lot of it just uh, screaming and peeking it so hard that it'll be painful. <laughs> so it was like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fix it. I also, I fixed the clips today. We'll actually have um, clips working on my bathroom break. I managed to log into the account. It was a struggle, but we did it. <laughs> All right. Let me see. You need to get this game, but your PC is a potato. The game is not on PC actually yet. <laughs> You'll have to wait a long time. Right now, it's still a PS5 exclusive. To play it on PC, it would probably like require some very illegal methods and not run very well. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend that. It, it basically pushes the PS5 to its limits. Which is already quite powerful compared to even some gaming PCs, so... <laughs> I can't see that going super well. <laughs> Hello, Z14! And Demo! And Brandon Slimes! If I time this right, I think this will be a really epic stream. We'll see! I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to hit or not in today's stream. Um, just cause I am feeling like... I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it today. I'm feeling like shit. <laughs> I'm feeling really bad. <laughs> it's not gonna like, I'm not gonna magically be better if I don't stream. So I'd rather try to stream because then at least I'm distracted, but I do not feel good. <laughs> so it's gonna, it's gonna depend. If I suddenly can't hold out anymore, I'm not gonna force myself to. So <laughs> uh, what feels wrong? I'm not gonna go into details, but it's not, it's gonna be something I gotta deal with for like Do I mean a long time. No. I'm working on getting, um, like, I'm working on getting someone who can help me with it. Um, but it's gonna take a long time, because that's how it be sometimes. <laughs> TGM, thank you for the super! Rip scream cover on repeat. <laughs> Not rip scream cover on repeat. You can just go on my channel and loop it after the stream. Then it's always on repeat. <laughs> You're just not forced to listen to it on repeat. <laughs> That's easier that way, right? And Bonsai, thank you so much for 10 recruited interns! Make sure to enable gifted memberships if you haven't, if you want to grab one. And thank you so much! Make sure to also thank Bonsai if you managed to get one. Thank you so much for enabling. Oh, hold on, it's still, it's still Newman. Still Newman. Don Denji san, Takumi, Sweet Travis, Richard, Sabama, Google Sol, Ryota, Guinea Zuru, Case Kitty, Kujo Reina, and Cyber, thank you! Mm -hmm. yeah. They're online while I'm awake. Is that surprising? This is the time of day I usually stream. I want to try going back to doing some earlier ones as well, though. Um, because I know a lot of people probably haven't been able to see me live, um, for a long time. <laughs> uh, that being said, I'm probably gonna do an earlier stream on Saturday because I'm actually gonna be on someone else's channel for an interview Saturday night. Um, so... I'm gonna be doing an earlier stream on Saturday on my end. Probably just two or three hours of VR chat because VKET is coming back, I believe today or tomorrow. And I want to check out some of the VKET worlds. I might, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to jump in solo, like in a world by myself, or if I might go to a public world but mute voices as a compromise so you guys can like run around and hang out with me. You'll hear me, but we won't hear you on stream. <laughs> I gotta play it safe. Member streams, I'm occasionally brave. And I'll talk with people, but not on a public stream, I don't think. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see what kind of compromises I can think of. <laughs> also, I'm going to and Unibear, and Darkest McNinja. Also, for those of you who haven't... S yeah, I did. I did get a decent amount of sleep, actually, for once. I got pretty good. <laughs> uh -huh. Telling me you don't want some slurs in your stream. Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't want them. <laughs> I'm good, I'd rather not, especially because they usually come from fucking children. I don't need children dropping slurs in my stream, no thanks. 
<laughs> I would rather, I would rather other cursed content, you know, that doesn't make some people feel like shit. <laughs> mm. It's like my throat is dry. Mm. I didn't record it well enough, but I, I recorded one take of an entire fucking album today. An entire opera album. <laughs> so I'm a little tired. But it was also a really good warm up, so I probably sound really nice. I, I'm gonna try to do that every time I have a singing lesson. Um, and then I wanna see how much I can progress with this album. Cause it's one I would really like to sing as a collab on Halloween. <laughs> but it's gonna depend on me being able to um, pull off what would be my section. Cause it's a musical, right? I wanna have some guests for the other characters, but it depends on if I can uh, pull off one of the characters. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you one part. I'm gonna listen to the original and try this. Oh my god. Hi. Uh, I could turn the mic down again. Um, the mic wasn't pointing at my face. <laughs> I was like, why is it quiet? The mic was pointing. I have a very directional microphone, right? It was pointing at the ceiling. It was pointing at the ceiling. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Does it sound better now? <laughs> now that we're not pointing at the ceiling. Okay, let me see. Um, I'm gonna do just a very short section of the last song in the album. There's no words, it's just a like, ah oh, part. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it sitting, so it's not gonna be as good. If I was standing, I could hit it better. You're not gonna hear it. I'll just hear it. Hold on. I want some reverb, though. I can't sing a full song on stream yet. I think it's too difficult. But are you ready for the worst sounding opera? The worst sounding high pitched shit that you've heard in your life? <laughs> Give me a sec. I gotta find the section of the song. Okay. Okay. very flat <laughs> I, I would have to hit every other song properly before this comes up and that's the highest but there's some other parts that are really hard and oh my god oh my god <laughs> I'm just like how am I gonna this, this would this this particular part would be after an hour of singing <laughs> I'm really stubborn though I want to do it if I can get good enough a very strong if I can get good enough. I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I can do it. Mm. But I'd really like to try if I can. It's been a dream of mine. It's a musical I've wanted to do live since I was like 10 years old, actually. Um, so it'd be really nice <laughs> if I could do that as a VTuber. What about the opening elf and the... I always do that. Oh, so wrong key. Oh, so I'm not gonna do any more because the whole song um, is very hard for me still. <laughs> my lung capacity is okay, but like my ability to support my sound went to shit once I got COVID. And I'm dealing with like another another health thing right now that's just making it really hard to support my um, support my sound as well because it hurts. <laughs> so I'm hoping, I'm hoping slowly we can slowly we can get back to being able to have long karaoke streams i actually have a karaoke collab i kind of want to do um if things work out next month mm. it'll be easy songs and it'll be with a few other people so i don't have to worry about like constantly singing so it'll be a little easier <laughs> i don't think i can do a solo karaoke for a while though like not even a whole song 
live, it's just a bit hard. Mm -mm -mm. But we'll get there. Ba -ba -ba. We'll get there in time. Hello, Josh and Zero Cool and Ryan Glasner. 16 loves showing off partial particle effects. It does. It almost reminds me of like, I don't know. I don't know. There's something I know. To Toho. It almost reminds me of Toho bullets. <laughs> Even though it's very different. It just kind of reminds me of them. Hello, Ramses and Pongadu. Mm -hmm. To be fair, Toho bullets look really pretty. Mm. I've always wanted to play Toho. I just never did. I want to play Toho with a tablet pen. I feel like it would be a lot easier with a tablet pen. <laughs> that could be a fun stream, playing Toho with a tablet pen. <laughs> I feel like I might actually not be so bad at it with a tablet pen because I'm really good at ice cream machine. <laughs> Although I don't think I could um, beat like Owen was her or any of the really hard songs, but that's okay. Hmm. Hello, Gunvolt and Yalter. Does Toho count as a shoot 'em up though? I don't think it's a it's a shoot 'em up. It's more just like you dodge the bullets, isn't it? Or do you shoot back? I didn't actually like look into playing it. I've only seen clips and I didn't pay too much attention. I thought you just dodged. <laughs> Maybe you don't just dodge. I don't know. Tablet does help for precise movement. That's what I thought exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to try it with a tablet pen. I feel like it'd be doable. I can't remember if it's high or not, so y'all do get a bonus high in case. Dodge and gun! Oh, I thought it was just god. God. I thought it was just dodge. Shit. <laughs> now I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> I just, I just want to dodge. <laughs> Undertale style, I just want to dodge. <laughs> Damn it, never mind. Fuck Toho. <laughs> Mostly the former as you hold down the fire button the entire time. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, so let's just dodge then. I don't have to, con I don't have to consciously think, think about the shoot. I don't have to think about it. I just hold the button down. That's, that's just dodge then. The shoot is on auto. <laughs> the shoot is on auto. We just hold it down or put like a weight on the key. <laughs> that doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Hello, Yoshi. Lane, how are you doing? Hello, and chat. Mm -hmm. I hope you're having a nice... I, I was about to say I hope you're having a nice long rest after Anime Expo, but it's been like two weeks, so I'm, I'm sure you've had a nice long rest. <laughs> I hope your rest uh, was was fruitful and you are feeling good now. Hello, Joey. Ba, 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 ba. Hello, gamer four six one two and Alexander Moultrie and Mercenary and Lazy Shinobi. Ba, ba, ba. And Dark Quill. Work is busy. I hope I hope it's a good kind of busy though. I would rather have I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to like work and stuff, I'd always rather have like a little too much to do than not enough to do. Because if I don't have enough, I start to lose my mind. I'm someone who has to be always busy. It's why I schedule my no internet days off. Um, specifically because I'm very bad at taking time off because I thrive on just being jam-packed. <laughs> so, I, I, you need, even if you thrive on being jam-packed, you need time off. So, it's like, if I know I'm not going to be good at taking it, I gotta schedule it <laughs> to make sure I do. <laughs> Hello, Dark Shadows and Tony Garcia. <laughs> Yeah, not totally swamped. Like, maybe, like, just a little too much to do. When it's way, way, way too much to do, then it's kind of like you want to die. But a little too much to do is always kind of the balance I like. Hello, Blessed Brows. Hello, Death God. Hello, Take Man's Tears. Back from being traumatized by Nyan Nyan Paradise. I still gotta finish the hard mode. I might voice act the scene, or I might not. I haven't really thought about it yet. And yeah, Joey made a point. Square's really bad at porting PC games. Like, anyone that I've tried just kind of was shit. Oh, I've only really tried a few. <laughs> Maybe some are good, I don't know. But the ones I have tried were certainly not. <laughs> Hello, TGM in chat. Hello, Rapture Queen. No. I leaked tea on my coaster. It's a cardboard objection Ace Attorney coaster. Whenever I spill something on it, I cry a little bit because the objection blurs. <laughs> and it's okay. I only cry a little bit. It actually came with an Ace Attorney mug I bought from Play Asia. <laughs> it comes with a set of coasters. Mm -mm. That's true though. Final Fantasy XIV runs fine on PC, but they also had 1.0 that ran like shit, so. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> 
you need pictures of half-dressed cat points to rejuvenate you, I mean, it's always a good option. It's always a good option. I don't think anything, anything would help right now, but... <laughs> it would rejuvenate my will to live, at least. <laughs> or during the stream at a lower volume as background music for the epic stream. <laughs> Hello, Pavlog! And Jaden Glover! And you, Kujimani! Can't go wrong with Catboy Medicine, exactly. The only time you can go wrong with it is Catboy Paradise, where we were betrayed. We were betrayed so hard. Every single ending was, like, not a proper ending. <laughs> that felt like the biggest troll of the game. I was sad. Watch the, watch the like, what is it, Inupada be the same thing, where every ending is just a troll. <gasps> Such betrayal. Hello, Nekta! Mm -hmm. Hello, Roxon! Brim! <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I've seen other people um, do VR chat streams where they had public and specifically watching theirs and stuff is why I don't want to on my... <laughs> I also never go into public worlds. If I can figure out a way to go in by myself and drop a link so that you guys can just run around, I'll probably still have your voices muted, but that way you can at least run around. I might even have it so that I'll capture random sound instead of the sound in the world so that, like i can hear you but i'm kind of leaning towards not doing that um just because of my own anxiety <laughs> i might be able to balance it as long as it's not captured because then like if there's something weird at least i don't have to interact back with it mm -hmm. was your flight any bad it was mm, it wasn't the best i had to sit in the emergency aisle and I was trying to explain to them, like, Ayo, I'm not really, I'm not really in the best health to be in the emergency aisle. Like, if, you're like, you want me to help evacuate? Like, I'm gonna, no. <laughs> if you want me to help evacuate, people are going to die. <laughs> and they wouldn't listen to me because they were in a rush to board the plane. Um, so they took my backpack away and stashed it somewhere, but it had my meds in it and shit. And I was like, <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess I don't have these. Um, okay. And and they wouldn't let me switch seats or get my backpack, so I just kind of... I tried my best to pass out so that I wouldn't have to think about it or anything. I was very cranky the whole time. Because <laughs> I was like, you should have listened to me. If this plane goes down, we're all dying, and it's all your fault for sitting me at this fucking emergency exit. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. There was no emergency. If there was an emergency and I died, I think I would have sued them. But since I'm alive, I don't really have the energy. I just <laughs> care. We're alive. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's actually this is not fine. They shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. <laughs> hmm. Hello, oh, Baco. And is that toast? Mm. How do you hear chat's aggressive compliments? I mean. That's the one downside of not having VR chat audio. I can't hear you guys praise me. <laughs> I think it's worth it's worth minimizing the risks. Just saying. It's true, we are getting closer to October. As soon as it hit August, I go into full Halloween mode IRL, so we're almost there. Two weeks and it's basically Halloween already for me. <laughs> I'm excited. Hello, gaming great. Ba -ba -ba -ba. An explain trip of a fundraising stream for me to get first class. That's okay. I fly like every couple weeks. I don't. I thought I didn't have to fly again until August, but it turns out I might have to on July 31st. So I'm just like, fuck you guys. <laughs> you bamboozled me. <laughs> but I don't know yet. It could be later. We'll see. I'm I'm on hold for now. <laughs> we'll find out. Mm -mm. At least it's almost August. Would you say for Halloween or Christmas? Oh, hands down, Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Absolutely. I love spooky stuff and cute stuff and cute spooky stuff, so it's the best one. <laughs> Hello, Karina Samaru. Mm -hmm. So there's like, there's like nothing, nothing better than Halloween for me. It's just the season where I am so happy. I'm so happy the whole time. <laughs> it's literally the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You already said probably you made a spooky movie playlist. Nice. I want to find a spooky series to binge this year. 
I have like a spooky or cute spooky like sugar sugar rune something like cute witches or whatever um, I usually have a series, either a manga, a comic, or a show, or a movie series that I binge every year, and I haven't decided which one to binge this year, so we'll see. I don't know which one yet. What's the worst season? Summer. Fucking right now. It's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Every day I wish for death. <laughs> I'm melting. Summer needs to just, like, fuck off and not exist ever. <laughs> We can have, like, spring hot enough for plants and stuff to thrive, but not so hot that I wish I was dead. Spring only, and then back to fall and winter. Sounds great. <laughs> Is it play Brain Code for spooky season? I was actually thinking, if I have time, I might want to play a bit of Brain Code next week or, like, even the week after. Just the first chapter and then play the rest of it off stream for myself and my own enjoyment. <laughs> Maybe I could finish, instead of binging a series. Maybe I could finish um, Zero Time Dilemma. It's a game instead, but that could be kind of cool, maybe, for October. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Angel Dust! And Clint Hill! And Cool is up! <laughs> Zero is top tier. I love this series. I still have to finish Virtue's Last Reward. I keep forgetting to charge my DS. Every time I want to go play it, I'm like, oh yeah, my DS is dead. <laughs> Would you give us a shot of your Halloween costume this year? I mean, I always have a costume on stream. We'll have to see what one I go for this year. I have an idea, actually. Yes, I do want to finish Yuppie! October will be the best chance. The best chance to finish Yuppie. I hope I can. Mm -hmm. I really want to do more of... Uh, I actually want to see if we can finish all of Corpse Party. In October. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get to it or not. I kind of like what I'm doing with this game. Even though it gets low views, I kind of like having um, one long ongoing game. I like doing that with visual novels too, but they tend to be too long. So I'm thinking once I finish um, Corpse Factory and Cupid Parasite, because we've invested so much time, I might just do like one chapter and then I'll be like, okay, play it yourself. <laughs> and I'll finish it off stream. Just so I can show off more of them. <laughs> and yeah. I know the Corpus Party is really long, but it has a lot of really good reaction moments and stuff. And like, I, I know a bunch of you wanted to see me play more of it, so we'll see. <laughs> Homer and Kelly, and Amoto Kamado. Corpus Factory is pure madness where we left off. It was. I can't believe I got so sick, so I couldn't go back to it. I want to play more of it on Monday if I'm well enough. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Book of Shadows or the Vita one? Uh, whatever one's on Switch that has the da 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 I was debating playing just the beginning on stream if you guys really, really want to see it. Um, I don't know if I'll get around to it though. But if it's something you guys would really, really, really like to see, let me know and I can try maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's a really long, <laughs> it's a really long JRPG, so I don't think we're gonna get around to the whole thing either way. Mm. But I really like the music in Atelier. Mm. And we're in above the green. <laughs> Atelier games are very comfy. Yeah, I noticed that when I played a little bit of one on stream. It was really fun and cozy. And I really enjoyed the music and the character design. Hello, Tinkerbugger. Oh my god, my stomach's gonna kill me. Hello, Nyaza. Hello, Pedro. Aren't you obligated to play games that are PlayAsia physical exclusive? I'm actually not. <laughs> There have been times where I actually chose to play some on stream because they looked fun for me. And I told my underlings, I was like, hey, yo, I'm gonna play this game. And they're like, why? Don't do that. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and, and there's like literally no obligation. If I do, it's because I want to. <laughs> I'm really interested in that one, though. I just know I wouldn't be able to finish it. So I could probably use it as an excuse to play part of it, but we'll see. <laughs> Hello, Andreas! 
Your mom was born on Halloween. She doesn't get into it. That's a tragedy. If Halloween was my birthday, I would live for it even more. <laughs> it takes a lot of inner strength not to call this part of the game attack on Titan. I fucked up. I fucked up. That should have been the thumbnail. That should have been the title. I fucked up so hard. <laughs> I, I fucked up so hard. Hello, Master and Eugene Chan. I'm helpless chicken. I cannot believe I missed I missed the opportunity to make that joke. I'm so mad. <laughs> if my health gives out and we don't get the Titan today, we can do that next time. <laughs> ah, benefit if we have to finish early. Hello, Brace Young. Mm -mm -mm. With that being said, I actually caught up within 30 minutes, so maybe we should jump into the game. What do you guys think? <laughs> After I have a dumpling. After I have one dumpling. Hold on. Mm -mm. Ow. Mm -mm. Ow. 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 Two dumplings, no, I have one. <laughs> it sounds extra crunchy, but I promise it's the perfect amount of crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not burnt, just crunchy. playing just so you can see my reaction to the ending i feel like i feel like this is the type of game where parts to react to get better the further into the game you get mm. as this is like mm, this is like a slow burn game despite being really good the whole time it's still very much a slow burn mm. game volume okay Or does it gotta go up a little bit? I put it up a little bit in case. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Remember the next stream title is Attack on Sight and Final Season Part 42. <laughs> two doors actually I've done what I can, but the mm -hmm. rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. I forgot she existed. <laughs> She's really hot, though. Mm -mm. Understood. Mm -mm. And thank you. Yeah, you better put that shirt on. Otherwise, this ain't, this ain't good for TOS. <laughs> Where the, the game is rated spread. mature, I'm, I'm slightly... Make sure she rests. I'm always like... I'm always like... I should have a sensor ready. <laughs> They know a lot of people want to stream it, so it's probably fine. If it hurts, mm. you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. Mm. I can bear it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you I think it's the to. game's actual frame rate. Not it's anymore. Same for me, unless it's capturing weirdly. This isn't just 
Mm. Your struggle, Clive. It's ours. Sounds like something over. When we see how me. hard you fight, <laughs> it inspires us to do the same. Mm. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? I feel like he acts like such a martyr he would. He'd be like, at least you wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> That's not. Aw, the look she gave him is so cute. I love them. I love them so much. Look, I could give her. This whole scene is kind of precious. Whoa, baby! Whoa, what the? Wait, do we have? Do we actually? Bro, bro, no, bro, bro. In here. Not now! Not now! What's wrong? <laughs> that was, that was the most tension I've seen in the whole game. Hot what? damn! <laughs> has, has Alabama been confirmed? This isn't has the Alabama Dalmechian army we're talking about. <laughs> it's the men of the rock. I, I was so distracted, I forgot to look at the lore. What is this? No, it still doesn't say Clive's girlfriend as the info. Oh. Disappointing. <laughs> we were so fucking close! <laughs> So it turns out it gets a bit more of a description. Residents, like, phys physical or class? Oh, yeah, it's like a doctor, right? Mm. Mm. And trusted ally of the class, branded as a barrier from birth and forced to serve the battlefield healer, Taya puts her surgical training to the use in removing her own brand. Oh, she's the one who removes the brand. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Logan Davis. I can't believe we got that scene, like, right when we fucking still got back into the game. This is gonna be a night if that's what we start Rick's with. Fang. <laughs> Hugo Koopka's private guard. Yeah, we're gonna wreck him. We'll kick him in the privates. And there then he'll be in so much pain, he'll, he'll drop Titan's power. Trying to power. batter down the castle <laughs> gates. Looking for me. Mm. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Yeah, he popped in uh, right It's a got trap, all up. right. <laughs> the daddy of all fucking traps. What? Going to Rosaleth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I missed some context. That's exactly what, what is he wants the daddy you to do, Clive. <laughs> I missed something. He I don't know why Kuka harbors such I was a grudge against I'm too busy thinking Sid. about Alabama. <laughs> but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. I guess he has dragged another mother the rest of Storm <laughs> into this pointless war <laughs> just to find me. Beside which. I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. Exactly, we hate this man. I have lost enough we friends to man. that man already. I don't want to lose any more. If I lose so even one more main character, and in this kill game, the bastard. I will kill more than Kugo Hugo I'm coming too. <laughs> After all. We're in this together. All right. Sorry, I have painkiller brain. <laughs> it's it's I struggling. Should speak to Otto before leaving. Can the painkiller brain do its best? <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. I have like four summons now. I can do stupidly good combos. I st ah shit! I forgot to look up what combos work well together. Okay, so his, his guards are the men of the rock. On Kupka's orders, they ruthlessly gutted and destroyed Sid's original hideaway. Vengeance for the brutal beheading of Benedicta Harmon. To be fair though, we, I mean we did we did kill Benedicta. <laughs> she was fucking someone else though. He would have he wouldn't have been happy if he knew. <laughs> but Kupka's thirst for revenge is not yet slaked. And it is with reckless abandon that he employs his minions to commit atrocities across the realm in a bid to drive Sid from hiding. Okay, that's pretty fucked up. You know, like destroying tons of places just in hopes of maybe drawing out someone who's actually into. dead, by the way. <laughs> mm. 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 Wait, I probably should have just. Another one of those places that I have to get to from outside. Mm. Mm. One day 
I want to sail I wish I could jump the over the lake. <laughs> I wish I could jump over the rails. Does this jump even serve for anything? Other than people like me who just have a punishment for randomly jumping every chance they get in the game. Be ready to because like a moment's notice. It <laughs> I've got you the news. I don't think it actually what does anything. It's enough. such a low jump. I can't jump for anything. I know exactly what's going on. What have we yeah, heard? Yeah, I really like the harp as well. Awesome. I think it's a harp, actually. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new like front against the Empire. Guitar? Least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. Mm. I've been passing them on to Vivian. In the to be fair, that's true. Sense. He's more steroid than man now. So that if testosterone going, making him too you'll angry. Want to talk to her. He has an irrational Understood. amount. Jump is better in battle. Vivian's can you jump over like stuff on the ground? Like if there's a danger AOE, can you jump over it? Instead of like dodging? Like when it's about to hit? I'm just trying to figure out what's useful for it. If it isn't my favorite pupil. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. Mm -hmm. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge. Uh can't hurt. I love his actors. We are attitude. going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. Mm. It's just like What's the situation the there? Comic relief that you need Whoa for there, your Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost, but to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. History lesson. <laughs> I'm sure the lore button is going to be useful in the history lesson. Okay. Let us begin with the story of Hugo hmm. Kupka, or the permanent oh, economic advisor the to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. Hmm. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has hmm. granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Okay, so he's like, he's the financial advisor, and in this area, it's basically all about money. So basically, he has all the power ever. <laughs> Because he's in charge of the money, and the money's in charge of everything. So it's basically the real world. <laughs> uh, the highest council of government of the Republic of Domekia. Okay, so the Republican Parliament is the highest one. Uh, seven ministers are responsible for ruling the nation. Though their will is often molded to that of their permanent economic advisor, Hugo Kupka. So basically, he's in, in charge of the highest council. Who leverages his power as the dominant of Titan to shape the Republic's policy. Okay. Hello, Tyler James. Thank you for subscribing. A nation formed on the Federation of Five Smaller States. It is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and has its capital in Rendella. I'm just refreshing here. Okay, so this is the one that has Drake's Fang. So that's probably the daddy of all whatever they said earlier, Drake's Fang. <laughs> Inside stands Castle Dasbog, home of Kupka the asshole, dominant of Titan. Kupka, obsessed with finding Sid and exacting his revenge for murder on Benedict the Herman, co-opted the soldiers of the realm and had them commit a series of atrocities in an attempt to flush him out of hiding. Cool. Hello, John Philip Alvarez. Not that he ever Punch wanted man for the man matter. Being <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense. He, he apparently a fact, is he has used to his monopoly. considerable Unlike advantage. <laughs> While he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic from Parliament's grip. Mm. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same mm. army that marches upon Rosalian soil me, right? as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Mm. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions oh, are yeah. elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, mm. where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. Mm. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. Mm. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, oh, okay. as Kupka was quick to descry. So that's a weak point. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. Mm. All for you, Clive. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's a little brightening. He wants your head. Mm -hmm. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, 
but to draw you out. Well, it's convenient that we're going to find him then, isn't it? <laughs> we'll both get what we want. Hello, Robert. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port is older then? Hmm. Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. Hmm. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, hmm. but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. Okay, so at least the people and are so safe. the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, mm. it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Mm -hmm. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian mm -hmm. control. Oh, I so to tell me, <laughs> pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? So then we like follow the behind them or something? Mm -hmm. We're Across the, the northern north. border, may <laughs> Phoenix Gate. Love her, Mike. Take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. If we go after him, there'll be no one. I'll do the quickest him. route, but at least we won't be spotted. Mm. A little we'll local knowledge goes behind. a long way, <laughs> and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. <laughs> oh, will you be going too? I, I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his <laughs> own medicine. <laughs> I would have missed Hearing this for this the guy world. Who's like, the happy-go-lucky right. guy be like, this we fucker. Be on our way. This is so powerful. <laughs> I didn't expect, I did not expect such foul language from his wholesome mouth. <laughs> it is, it's like when you hear your child say fuck for the first time and you're like, <laughs> I'm so proud. Wait, that's a, that's a side quest I should do, right? Hmm. Let's see if I can find the plus. <laughs> Which one is the plus? Is it this one? No? Are there no pluses here after all? I thought, I thought it showed up. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it's so far away. Oh my god, why? <laughs> oh, okay, Slops. I'm curious now how much cussing and which words are used in JP. Yeah, I'm kind of curious as well. I do wonder to an extent if it's more day, of a localization thing. All the way to the show. Um, just because, you know, I feel like in Japanese they could probably just use like vulgar type of language like not necessarily yeah, vulgar words but like they could use words that are just very impolite whereas english that would just come off as very casual right so with english i feel like the profanity it feels very much like a western thing i'm kind of curious if the japanese equivalent is also profanity or if it's just like something else like maybe a lot of characters use keigo and in those situations they don't or something i don't know <laughs> It very much makes it feel, I kind of get why, where some people are coming from with this. It does make it feel kind of like a Western game. Uh, Sid, I, I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go I of our like past I keep in order that we might focus on our future. I put the branded tattoo on myself. We did. Every time I play this, I forget. Nonetheless, <laughs> I was wondering if, well, I know you are from Rosaria and Ooh. I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. Mm. I, can't I feel say like that the vibes are probably different healing. too. Yeah, like My I don't think there would the be. Bailey. I don't. Shame. I don't think there's a you see, strong equivalent. The hideaway like relies <laughs> heavily upon medicines <laughs> procured from afar. There's and like when profanity, late, of course, but I don't know if there's like an equivalent. Well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might yeah, save Yeah, he needs a lives. smaller hat. <laughs> However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained mm. in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on 
other business. If you happen to be there anyway, can you maybe help me? <laughs> yeah! Oh, okay, Justin Tell the Jester. Tell me these Morgan beards, then. But of course... Hugo acts like Benedicta was his final fantasy. my old tomes are to be believed, <laughs> the flowers are bright yellow and as She was only a fantasy. She was size. fucking someone else, oh. man. <laughs> and they grow in the marshes of sorrow. She was using both of them, too. If I am too. to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms, which have already gone to seed. She was a and really interesting I forget, character. I miss her already. I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. <laughs> Nothing in you what cannot way? handle, though. Do they, sure. get, do, they, do they get, like, catnip, or do they hate it? It's like the big stink, they can't handle it. Which, which, type of, which type are we talking? Let me see, um... I'm searching Japanese equivalent for fuck. So it says kuso, but I don't, I don't think that has the same weight at all. Because like, you'll hear it in even like Naruto, and you're like kuso. But like, if that's in kids shows, I don't think it's quite the same level of like drama. It's hard to explain, but I don't, I don't think it's a fair equivalent. Mm. I don't know if there is a fair equivalent. It's a hard one. Hello, <laughs> John. Yeah, I really like how they played out her story. I wish there was more as well. But I've noticed a trend with this game. They do a really good job of making you always wish for more. Like for every character, when by the time they die, like same with Sid, you, you want more of them. And that's the mark of good writing. Good writing shouldn't leave you being like, wow, I'm very satisfied with what I heard. It should always leave you wanting more. Mm. So in my opinion, that's great. <laughs> it's great that they managed to make her and so interesting that we want more of them. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are it's still torture, here. torture, but... It takes ages to talk to you. Hello, Sarge Knight. Or use the children then. Exactly. That's why I don't think profanity has like the same weight necessarily in Japanese. Because you would never hear fuck in a kid's cartoon. Like imagine watching like... Maybe on Adult Swim, but imagine watching Cartoon Network and all you hear is, and all you hear is, I dropped my ice cream. Fuck! <laughs> that would be the fastest show ripped off the air in history. Also, I know I am Jacob Pals. We were trying to figure out what the Japanese equivalent for fuck is. Like not, not just the recommendations. Oh. If there's anything that has the same level of weight, or if it's just like impolite language in general. get ripped off TV, it'd be pretty damn epic. <laughs> it would be, it would be, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta go out with style. And that's one way to do it. <laughs> they did have an edgy phase where it tried getting away with low level cursing. I feel like there's a difference between low level cursing and straight up dropping an F bomb though. <laughs> I remember regular shows pretty edgy back in the day, you're watching it HBO Max. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that was edgier than we realized. Like, even the fucking Powerpuff Girls. There was literally a character that was only boobs and ass. Like, you never saw her head. You only saw her boobs. And the best part was, she's the, I'm pretty sure she was, like, either the assistant or the mayor's wife or something like that. And it was, like, <laughs> she was just boobs. <laughs> that was all they chose to represent about her entire character. She's near the ambient. Powerpuff Girls had a lot of things that... Well, bits. to be fair, did you guys know... Oh, Jedi! Did you guys know that Powerpuff Girls wasn't supposed to be a kid's show? I'm, I'm gonna make a note about this, actually. I kinda wanna make a short about this for people who don't know. Because it's very fascinating. So, the history behind Powerpuff Girls is it actually was originally called the Whoop-Ass Girls. And... It was supposed to be an adult cartoon, but when it was bought out, essentially what happened is that the network was like, we only want to cartoon. Take a drink. 
Are you gonna sell them? Yeah. <laughs> jumps around a lot with volume but um oh wait yeah okay so <laughs> essentially um in case you didn't hear the um oh but now the game is so quiet unfortunately there's not much i can do with the, the variety of volume the game. anyway powerpuff girls was supposed to be an adult cartoon called the Fast girls so it's this dude's passion project and when they bought it out cartoon network was really he turned into a kids show and made it completely different from his vision and not what he wanted to make at all but I mean he probably got a lot of money for it so <laughs> it, 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 it can't, you can't say it's the worst ever because I mean he, he would have got a lot of money but it was not what he wanted the reboot series was pretty hell bleh <laughs> that sounds terrible I didn't watch the, the reboot specifically because like I don't know I liked it back in the day, but I don't think it's something I'd go out of my way to watch more of, if that makes sense. But I thought it was good. Mm. The movie was good. I agree. I did like the show in the movie quite a bit. Mm. So I'm kind of I'm kind of curious what it would have been like if the original creator could have had like what he wanted the project to initially be. Oh. I'm ready for Dark Souls. I'm ready for Dark Souls! <laughs> I didn't say I was like a hit like torch. <laughs> oh yeah. What? I can't change him until after the battle. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay. I think I might actually need to look into getting a new interface. Cause I have this really loud right now and it's, oh God. Actually, I'm not sure if my mic is working properly, like my interface. I have the volume on the mic really, really loud, but the levels, it seems like the more I put it up, the lower it's getting. My mic has done this a few times and um, it died midstream. So we might lose the mic. <laughs> I really need a new interface. This one is shit. Mmm, I don't know what causes it, unfortunately. Mmm. So, um, I'll, I'll keep it up a little higher, but unfortunately, the volume might end up, like, you're gonna have to tell me if the microphone starts getting too quiet again. Unfortunately, I... I can't... I can't really... <laughs> I can't really control it if that happens. All I can do is buy a new one. Bright yellow. Sounds like a Windows 10 issue. I don't think it's a Windows 10 issue. I think it's more like something with my exact interface. Um, I should upgrade to Windows 11 though. I've been putting it off, but I have um, I have Windows 11 on my laptop and it's fine. It's not a mic issue though, it's the interface. Like what the microphone plugs into. Hmm. The reason I know it's the interface is I've talked to a number of other people who used to use this interface and they talked about the same issue where there it just once in a while it just kicks out and the volume is like not having it the good news is um wait never mind oh zero crown i was gonna say um i have i have good news in the fact that i have a travel mic now but it doesn't plug into usb <laughs> so i can't use that one because i don't have the right port on this pc hello flame chokeable uh -huh. But yeah, the only reason I haven't switched to 11 yet, I have a question actually. Maybe you guys can answer this. Um, what I want to know is, does it have a thing where like programs that aren't compatible with 11 can run on 10? Because my worry is I have a lot of programs that I don't know if they'd be compatible with Windows 11, like older programs and stuff. 
and I'm worried about not being able to use the stuff I need to stream. Because mm. I, I like 11 on my laptop. I don't have anything against 11. I'm just worried about losing functionality. Oh yeah, it was through here, wasn't it? One day, I want to sail all you the haven't run into any that don't work? That's a good sign, at least. Hmm. Take care, Clive. I might have to look into upgrading, to be honest. Just because I don't... I don't know if it'd be a problem or not. A lot of people in your circle are staying away from 11 because of compatibility issues. That's what I'm worried about, see? I'm worried about compatibility issues. Hmm. I haven't run into any on my laptop, but... I also do use some quite older programs that don't that haven't been updated in a long time. <laughs> it is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. Mm -hmm. What brings you to the gardens? You can order some gardening. You told me to do this. I found your flowers. Yes. Oh yeah, another thing I was gonna ask. Does it keep your directories? Almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Like I have a lot of stuff set up have any so that um them? Them I have part, like it, it requires the programs to be in specific locations. And if it changes any of the directories, I'm totally fucked. <laughs> he thought his name was Clive. It is Clive, but um Sid died in the game, right? And because Sid died, we basically became the new Sid and took over his mission, and now everyone calls us Sid. Mm. Those should remain the same? Okay, that's a good sign. Maybe I should update tonight then, even. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. Oh, flower crown. It'll make me happy in my sad moments. <laughs> I apologize if you can hear my fan really bad. I have to blast, like absolutely blast the microphone for it to work right now. <laughs> and here you, we are. you stick with 10? No, that's true. I have issues with 10 um, with sound every time it updates. So that is true. I wonder if it's related. Maybe I should go for 11. Because I've noticed a lot of updates really fuck up my sound drivers. But I've also heard that my interface is just really bad for that issue. Mm. Bow, bow, bow. Nice. This is without, with how loud I'm talking. There's no way the microphone should be this quiet. I am, I am loud. You can probably tell by like the tone of my voice that I'm not talking quietly. And the microphone is like, one and a half times where I usually have it. All right, we're going to Rosalith. <laughs> Let's go. Kuka, what the fuck? I mean, I'm glad the civilians have retreated, but what the fuck? I really need to look into trying the, um... There's the some... Gates there's some filters you can add that are really good for noise removal and stuff, too. I gotta try them. I know, I think it was... If it, oh, what was it? It was either Lane or Fleon that was talking about using it, and they were shocked that I've never used it. So I need... I need... I need to try. I need to ask them. I need to remember which one it was and ask them for advice. The, out the, wall. the Imperials are holding the ground for now. But it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Mm. Exactly. Audio Those interfaces sit between really the, the mic and the PC. Mm. And the interface like drivers are what are fucky every map. time I get an update. Just a means to an end. I want to buy a new one anyway. Mm. I might look around and see what's good to upgrade. All this for one man. They didn't have to go so Oh, that's far. a burnt children's toy. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. Mm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Good Be job. <laughs> He's so awesome. Mm. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Mm hmm. I use a 
Scarlet right now, but like at the time it was what was recommended. But a lot of people have said it's actually not as good as they like to say it is. I thought that was a hockey stick. <laughs> Not true. The wholesome guy is probably gonna die. I thought I was ready for this, but I know it's like a nightmare. This was our home. Yeah, these would be the people that Come we on, would have Clive. looked over every day. We have to keep going. Mm -hmm. We're gonna buy. Oh, we're calling. <laughs> we're calling puppy. Capital pun it. Oh! If the chapter is called Capital Punishment, you know some shit is gonna go down. Can I also talk about this song? I can already tell from how this song is starting. This is gonna be a really intense part. Mm. Okay. The former capital city of the Duchy of Rosaria, Annabella Lazarus, who once ruled alongside Ellen Rossfield, the Duchess now wields absolute power as the Holy Empress of Sandbreak and has established an administrative government under her command. Okay. So this is now I. Okay, okay, okay. This is the area that Annabella is in charge of. Okay, 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 okay. okay. A majority of Rosalith's citizens fled or were captured when the Iron Kingdom invaded, and now the only inhabitants are a handful of nobles and sundry elders who've been sworn allegiance to the Empire for fear of retribution. Well, can Coop can at least get rid of Annabella? <laughs> so I think the red dot means there's new information, right? Mmm, that'll make it easier for me to tell when I need to when I need to check it or not. A private army under the command of Hugo Kupka, originally employed by the Dalmakian parliament to guard Drake's Fang, the bulk of the force was co-opted by Kupka when he seized control of the Mother Crystal and has served him and only him ever since. Most men of the Rock idolized their commander. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not good. For his political and financial achievements. After all, few can claim to have made permanent economic advisor to the Dalmakian parliament and built a wealth worthy of several generations in a single lifetime. Hmm. I guess I can't open the map here. I keep trying, but this it doesn't work. Invasion. This must be like a dungeon or something if I can't open the map. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Mm. Nothing. I think we've already seen that. <laughs> he has literally fucked up so many things. Ooh. <sighs> Why? Why do this? Mm. Clive, we can get through here. Mm, mm, mm. I said I'm greedy. I had to look for treasure first. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Protect. Some opponents will cast protect spells. To raise a defensive barrier around their allies that shield them from melee attacks when engaging protected out targets oh god i'm gonna have to look for that avoid using your sword and instead employ magic conveniently i only use magic pretty much so that's okay okay Murderous. oh <laughs> so they were they were like <laughs> i thought they were healing or er, sorry i thought they were like protecting that one I guess they were killing it. Oh yeah, they're killing these people all on the ground. I thought they were like trying to look after them. No, if they're the enemies, they're killing these people. Fuck them. <laughs> I saw them with the dead body and I was sad for them. I was like, oh, their friend died. No, they killed them. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and all your friends. Dead. They deserve, they deserve that. I greatly misread the situation. <laughs> For the enemy! Wow. I'm just so ready to cry that apparently, you know, I'm just primed for depression. <gasps> oh. The fact that they actually gave so much detail to the bodies on the ground, too, it, it makes it hurt a lot more, in my opinion. I love how I still see a dead body and I'm like, oh, is there treasure behind it? 
<laughs> Am I a terrible person, guys? <laughs> kind of like the weapons, though. I want one. The way they actually, like, put effort when they put the swords in people and pull them out, it adds so much more weight than just having a sprite swing a sword. Like, you can feel the effort to pull it out of the body. Ugh. Ugh. I love it. I love it. Give me, give me the terror. I fucking love it. Destroy me inside. Tear me apart. That's what I want from a video game. Tear me up inside. Hello, Bag Knight! It's fine, maybe I can... Wait. <laughs> that might have been overkill, but you know, I was particularly mad, so... Sometimes you have to use your strongest move, um, even if the enemy is like barely fighting and almost dead just to assert your dominance extra strong you know hello Harold Fiedler cut them down with me, <laughs> gladly I will cut you down uh, the, the fact that you can like for a second hear the people here just like crying out for help <laughs> Oh, that was Jill. I keep attacking Jill! <laughs> yeah, I gotta make, like, make certain they don't get back up, you know? If I don't kill them real good, how do I know they're not gonna come back? I could use weak attacks in between while I'm waiting for stuff to charge, but I'm honestly too lazy. Like, why would I waste... Why would I waste finger strength on a weak attack when I can just, like, fully pummel them if I wait another half a second? <laughs> it feels good to use the magic. Yeah, I, I feel a little bit bad for Jill too, where I just keep killing her, but, um... To be fair, maybe she, she should... I, I saw the blue and I got confused. I forgot that meant protection. Maybe if she didn't want me to attack her, she should stop looking like the enemy and trying to bamboozle me. Hmm. Exactly, it's all just cooldown, so why not? <laughs> why not constantly spam powerful shit? Why would I want to use the weak attacks when I can just go ham? Oh, I'm going- I was going to turn around. I guess there's nothing up that way. That's good the HP bar is also blue. Yeah! It makes it easier to tell. I kept seeing blue and getting confused and being like, is that an ally? I thought my allies didn't have health bars. But I guess, um, it's easier to tell if they're protected that way. A lot easier. I like it. Because I'm not very good at paying attention to icons when there's so much going on in the screen. It can be hard for me to notice things. Mm. <laughs> but I can I can notice a blue health bar. Easily. It's optimal to use cooldowns whenever possible. Yeah! That's why I've just been cycling through all these, right? It's like, why would I even use the basic attacks when I can just go absolutely ham? And when I have to use basic attacks, I'll just bring out this! Cause then it's way more powerful anyway, so like... Oh shit, that was high potion. I thought it was Torgo! To me, boy. <laughs> ah! Exactly, the worst words. There's so many cool moves, honestly. My favorite part about this game, too, is if you play on the harder mode, um, it can actually be decently challenging. But if you don't want to play on the harder mode, it's, it's, it's not, like, super button mash friendly. Like, I know to an extent what I'm doing, but it, it is friendly for people who aren't seasoned at action games. <laughs> ah! Like, I love video games, but I'm not as much of an action game person. I like them, but I'm really bad. I don't have the reaction time for them. So, this one is like a doable version for me. 
Mm-hmm. Exactly. If you're gonna do a normal attack, might as well make it a limit break. <laughs> mm-hmm. You understand. You mean that's the Dark Souls? I wouldn't say it's that reminiscent of Dark Souls. Um, it, it does occasionally remind me of my experience playing Ninja Gaiden. I think that's just in terms of like how I'm moving through closed off areas and dungeons in this. It kind of feels like Ninja Gaiden. Um, feels like a bit arcadey in that way. Mm. Which makes sense because they have an arcade mode. Mm -hmm. So they may have taken some inspiration from Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, it's not like Dark Souls at all, exactly. <laughs> I want to play more Ninja Gaiden. That was really fun. I was really bad, but I liked it. <laughs> I remember once we did a whole stream and I was fighting the Buddha for an entire stream. It was actually hell. It was actually fucking hell. <laughs> but it was kind of fun when I finally did it. <laughs> it's like if Double May Cry and the Kingdom Hearts had a baby. I can see that. I can kind of see that. As someone who's played neither of those. <laughs> I can still see it. That's true. I won eventually. I just feel like it would be pretty badass to beat like an entire Ninja Gaiden game if I could get to the end of it. But I feel like I still have a lot of the game left. And that would probably take a very big investment. <laughs> and if I'm going to put that much of an investment, I'd usually rather put it in something I'm really passionate about. Although I feel like my gaming skills, they're still shit. But I feel like I feel like I'm a bit better of a gamer now, so I wonder if I could do it faster. Hmm. I'm still shit, don't get me wrong. I'm not pretending to be anything but <laughs> I am a gamer in the truest sense. I game because it's fun. Not to prove a point or a show. <laughs> I actually kind of wanted to take a tricycle at some point. There's so many games I want to try. I wish I had the stamina to do what so many other people do and just like non-stop. Like stream 12 hours a day, like five days a week. I would actually perish, guys. I would actually fucking perish. <laughs> I wish I could, though. <laughs> I feel like three days a week is pretty much my limit. Oh, yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that one. Mm. Oh, Mr. Azimut, you wonder how much this inspire, inspire future games? I feel like a lot. And I feel like this is going to be a trendsetter to an extent. Just like Breath of the Wild one. It's very different, but it also pays respect to the original formula enough that I feel like it's going to rewrite trends in RPGs for a while. Mm. At least in some ways. Not in others, but in some ways. Some streamers who watch stream every day for four to six hours. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. Like, even if I only stream two hours, I need a whole day to recover afterwards. Like, at least for my voice. I gotta rest it for like a day. <laughs> and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Mm. That's why I go hard like three days and then I take other days to rest. They have a Shadow thank you for 14 months! Hi, I just wanted to jump in and say hi. I can't stay because I'm in a raid. Good luck with your raid! Oh, it's cute. I like the curl model in this game. Big dog. This isn't a dog. This is a cat. Attack! <laughs> this is a nya nya. Nya nya paradise. I'm killing Ruru. <laughs> this time it's on purpose. I'm so fucking dead. Wait. Boom! Oh, wait. That, that's not charged. What am I doing? Ah! <laughs> For some reason, when I blah blah blah, I almost started singing Bop to the Top. I think it was Ollie. Ollie made a tweet where she's like, I want to do a Me Too for High School Musical. And I'm just like, fucking please. Fucking please. <laughs> I want to be in a Me Too for High School Musical. Oh, it'd be so fun. <laughs> Getting to use one of the abilities, and it helps so much. Oh, I went belly rub! 
You have this really hot flaming belly rub. Cats totally like belly rubs, right? Aww, you can you like the belly rub? I I met one of my siblings' cats yesterday, and the cat actually loves belly rubs so much. I I fell for it. Like I always fall for it. I was like, oh, kitty wants belly rubs. And then as I was giving belly rubs, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. But no, the cat was purring, and it wanted belly rubs for like an hour. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> Three hours seems far away for you. Here's the thing. I used to struggle doing more than two hours. You do up your stamina. But I've been doing this for so long that now I feel like I've figured out my limits and I know what they are and how to work around them. So you know, when people are like, you stream too much, rest more, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, I know my limits. I've, I've taken this time to learn. <laughs> your cat loves belly rubs as well. I, I, I. Why does everyone's cats here like belly rubs? All your cats are me. Dogs in disguise. You guys don't know that you actually have dogs. Those aren't cats. I'm sorry you had to find out from an anime girl on the internet. Those aren't, those aren't cats. <laughs> they're, they're just, they're wannabe cats. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? Wasn't he the one that kidnapped and used her before too, or was it just his government? Let her go. I'm Kuka. so ready to fuck up Kuka. I'm so glad. Not in the same way as Benedicta. In the violent some way. Trouble with the decorations. He just referred to all these dead people as decorations? What the fuck? Situated in the heart of the ducal capital, Brasleth is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family once ruled a proud nation. A well-armed Sunbrickless garrison has been stationed here since 860 when the Duchy was annexed by the Empire following the tragedy at Phoenix Gate and the subsequent invasion by the Iron Crusade. Got it. Mm. He was fighting the kingdom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's fighting the one that is using Jill. I, I think I mixed them up for a second. That was the... The one that was using Jill was the one we fucked up last time, yeah? Mm-mm-mm. Do you like what I've done with the place? True, okay. Oh, River. <laughs> Who says their fun time wasn't Such violent? Okay, I take it back. Their fun time was probably us, violent. <laughs> but I am sure <laughs> you will prove compelling company. A less appealing type of violence. <laughs> He is choking her. Little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. I can't tell if this is hot or terrifying or both. Mostly terrifying though. If that's Benedict then she's into it, it might be a little different though. <laughs> He did that just to piss me off. Literally, he did that just to piss me off. Oh no, I'm getting handcuffed. Ah! This keeps getting more exciting. Now, on to the festive. Why do I feel like I'm not going to enjoy these festivities? <gasps> Don't you dare! Don't you dare. Don't you dare shove her. She is my wife. You treat her with care. That's true. Sid took away the love of his life, so he wants to take away mine. Who happens to be basically my sister. <laughs> so many levels in this right now. Just great, that is. 
He's not going to treat her with care. Well, I'm going to treat him with care when I put his head on a pedestal very carefully so it stays there forever. And everyone knows not to mess with Jill. <laughs> oh, Mystic Shadow! Exactly, if she's not blood-related, it's fine. <laughs> I spaced out for a second and thought I was in that block of wood, like, curled up in a ball. I was like, how are they carrying me in that? That's really small. Until I realized it's probably for the executioner. That's a head choppy block. Hmm. Oh, I didn't steal. You, bring the prisoner. Her first, right? I would have to watch her get her head chopped off before I get mine chopped off. If they actually kill her here, this is going to be so anticlimactic, and I'm going to be so pissed. For getting into bed with an <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> oh, food destroyer. Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. No, I'm not. Such We're going to stop to... this execution. <gasps> yes! 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 That's my buddy. That's my buddy! <laughs> Gav. Mm hmm. Shh. Good job. Crystal fetters are a bastard. Gav came in clutch. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Getting Shit. her head locked off. <sighs> The Imperials have sounded it's the fine. We can take some inspiration from Murder Farts. We can put her in a cage. Kuka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle around the back. Quick as you like, eh? He really did start off as a minor character and became such a bro. <laughs> He's almost the replacement for Sid now. Nearly forgot. In terms of in like in dynamic with Clive, because I know I'm the Sid. <laughs> Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised he went right for an execution, though. He seems too cruel of a man. Mm. I didn't think he'd go right for an execution like that. I thought he'd be more of a, a fan of torture in front of me instead of a quick and easy death. Mm. Mm -mm. He's not... He's not... Uh, his range has bl blinded him. No, that's why I thought he'd go for torture. I have to get to the courtyard. I thought he'd want to torture Jill in front of me instead of just insta kill. <laughs> it seems so. Like, I don't know. I expected it to be a little more ruthless. That's true. It would match Benedicta's fate. Although I kind of tortured her for a bit first, fighting her. Mm. You're saying pettiness hasn't been invented yet? I'm pretty sure history books say pettiness was invented in the middle, like way before the Middle Ages. <laughs> It's more for the mental scarring. Wouldn't torturing her first while making him watch be worse for mental scarring, though? Insta kill. Maybe he's maybe he's very aware that Clive is powerful and has a chance to rescue her. So he didn't want that chance. He's like, because this guy is powerful enough that he might be able to save her. We've got to kill her fast. Hmm. I kind of like the big axe, so I kind of want it. <laughs> I mm. hope you've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. Sorry, the delivery of that was so good. <laughs> I'll read Gab's name. Plotiness was invented by the Greek gods. I would believe that. I would totally believe that. Didn't at least one of them kill, like, all their partners? Like, almost all of them? <laughs> Since Faithful Scout, now one of Clive's closest and most trusted allies, he continues to put his legendary nose to work in service of the hideaway. The information he brings back from his expeditions, proving invaluable for the Curse Breakers in their efforts to save the bearers from servitude. Though he lost an eye during Hugo Kupka's attack on the old hideaway, his scouting senses remain undimmed, but he'd have trouble fighting for the most part because his, like, what's it called? His, like, depth perception would be super off. Yeah, Zeus and company were, uh... <laughs> Torgo! Good boy. Good boy! I, I knew I loved that 
Chicago. Wait, he's just gonna kill Jill before I even get there? Okay, that's really dumb. Does he want me to suffer or not? <laughs> I guess I'd still suffer if I come and find her dead. Maybe he's actually smart. Unlike a lot of villains that want to wait to have a big show for you and then by the time they have their show ready, you know, you manage to destroy them. <laughs> Maybe he's actually the smartest for not dragging this out. Did Torgo just get powers? Tor Torgo. Jill, can you stand? I was gonna say! Torgo, Torgo definitely did something there. <laughs> come, come, At least we got Jill rescued. I really want to cosplay Jill. Well, tell me you tire of my entertainment. entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. Okay, so he maybe did know I was going to come. He wanted me to fight here, maybe. Maybe he expected me to rescue her. So we could die together. Stay close. We're getting out of here. This room the Digivolve. Thank you. Precious Torgle. Let's go for the executioner first. Oh, I feel like he is danger. And I feel like if I get rid of him, then a lot of danger will be gone. Actually, I'm just gonna maybe take out some of the little ones. There's less to dodge. Ah! 
Wait, the other one is the other one's closer to dying. I should focus on him so I can get rid of one. <laughs> oh shit, I took a high potion. I thought I switched back to Torgo. <laughs> Not working for the ninjas. Yeah! Yes! How can you do too many times? Yeah! That's the downside of having manual control for Torgal instead of automatic. Um, sometimes you think you're using a potion, but you accidentally use Tor you are you think you're using Torgal, but you accidentally waste the potion. Why well, use a potion later when you can use it now? But I I don't wanna waste them! <laughs> It's amazing to watch me not use regular attacks a whole fight. Listen. <laughs> Do you know how much more fun it is to only assert dominance with magic? I don't I have no use for your <laughs> regular attacks. I am above <laughs> regular attacks. <laughs> I am above these. I do not need them. I only need big pew pews. <laughs> Kalim's faithful friend is fiercely protective of him and his allies. When Jill came close to death in the courtyard of Rosalind's cat, I haven't saved this whole time. Something awoke within him, transforming Torgal into something akin to an icon. Wasn't the last of them. Then they won't stop hunting us until Kubka's dead. Mm. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go mm. on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. Mm. All right, but be careful. We're doing it. Going in the castle. Can I save? <laughs> Hold on. Um. Just in case there's something I should change. Oh. What ring is equipped? Okay, cool. So it's not the stupidly automatic one. Good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Cool, I can save here. Amazing. That being said, um, I'm gonna take a quick break. I wanna get some drinks, rehydrate, and then we'll come back. Mm. I have my clips fixed, so you can have really old ones. Also, is the game volume okay now? I'll check again when I get back. If the game volume's too quiet or not, I don't know. Whoa. Hold on, I gotta fix something. Mm-mm. Mm, you can't see, but I'm fixing something. <laughs> okay. Here we go. If I could at least wear, like, high heels or sandals. I'll just record my feet going on a walk for, like, an hour. And then <laughs> pre-record it. I'll just chat while you can look at my feet walking. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna... That is not a promise. Don't hold me to it. Don't make me go viral and get 100k. That is not a promise. <laughs> But if I got if I got 100k, I would consider following in Pippa's footsteps quite literally. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be the new meta. Everyone has 100k feet reveals. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on my end screen. Don't forget to come back later. It looks like it looks like we're like leaning heads, but my ponytail's like going in your face. <laughs> it's gonna make you sneeze. I tickle your nose. Are you smelling my hair? No. What the fuck? But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> oh, I temporarily lost my cool for a second there. Oh, don't mind me, Edgy Poo. <laughs> I, I know that I wasn't born yesterday. Quite knew what I was in for. <laughs> Normal. It's average fade day for me. Sorry, just... Oh my gosh, I just wanted to I say, those in Nike has nothing on, on Aikamana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Wait! So, so... <laughs> is that allowed on YouTube? Is that allowed on YouTube? <laughs> That is, 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 that
that is uh, definitely something. <laughs> that legendary bipedal, I don't like it. <laughs> Some heads are rolling. You mean the, <laughs> the characters? I'm what sorry. I'm sorry. Watching you run on screen, you're running in one spot! How? How is it worse? How is it worse? Oh, how slow you're moving on your screen? How fast you're moving on my screen still? Absolutely game of the year. I, I agree, Aaron. <laughs> Try turning them all the way up since turning them down makes it worse. Yeah, that's what so ridiculous. I was trying to put soap on my hand, but I totally missed my entire hand. And I thought it was so funny that I was like, I'm taking a photo. Because <laughs> I, I missed my entire hand with the soap. It went all over the table. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then. As if this wasn't bad enough, the second I walk out of the bathroom, Akka had a boba accident. Oh, you want to see Akka's boba accident? <laughs> she came out trying to trick me, being like, Pam, I got diarrhea on my hand. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then she's like, it's boba, haha. And I'm like, what the fuck, Akka? How do you even... How do you even do this with boba? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> I had to! Works better this way, there's more jiggle. than ever before because it's gonna pull it's gonna pull random ones and uh, there's no limit it's gonna pull from all of them also no cats i wonder if i can go pet portal in super power mode oh <gasps> yeah we give the good boy some pets. oh he just barks <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so cute! Kupka took our home, Clive. Don't let him take yours. This ain't my home Jill anymore, bitch. Be safe with me. I promise. Don't worry about us. This Go. is destroyed. I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. Let me get a good look at her outfit. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out how hard this would be to make. I'd love to cosplay her. <laughs> Make it, and it's. I was. I was looking at it actually. Um, how expensive it is to buy? Because I was thinking of buying it. It's real, really expensive. <laughs> Understandably. You'll die by my hand. I have to wait until like a budget website like Me Costumes gets it or something. Okay, that's it. Then we're going up. <laughs> exactly. And my home's the hideaway now. This ain't my fucking home. I'll just come here to kill Koopka and kill my mom. I have no other reason to be here. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I still think the R2 to open doors is unnecessary, but you know. Koopka. Koopka. <laughs> Sounds so angsty. Trouble on the way. Oh, the way he's sitting. Just enjoying your entertainment. You know this is gonna be a good fight. He does have someone saying he has such a strong presence in his scenes. You're right. They did a really good job making his character How take up a lot of space. And I mean that like metaphorically as well. Field. Like he has so much presence. He's been carrying <laughs> this chapter. Of Rosaria. Mm. A realm without a ruler. An army. Even a people. Oh, did see? A veritable kingdom. Of dust. Mm hmm. I like the sound effect. You can hear his chainmail and stuff clinking too. I see no throne to defend. Neither do I, actually. <laughs> we have no throne here anymore. No. You're just doing me a favor and saving me money on demolition costs. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Sit's head in a box. Well, that's pretty easy. If you want to go dig up his grave. Hello, coach! When I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. Oh. And so never mind, he's not happy. That you had taken up his He's like, I'll kill you instead. Me. You're a good enough substitute. <laughs> Your Wait, does he have his head in a box then? Benedict what was that? Harman. And defiled her body. Um. No. <laughs> no. Well, maybe, but not not any more than you did, Koopka. <laughs> That's a little possessive. Do we hate the punchy guy or the pro tag? Oh no, we hate Koopka. Pro tag is good. Mm. We love Clyde. We we do not enjoy Koopka. <laughs> After Sid fell in his hideaway, was reduced to rubble at the hands of Hugo Koopka. Clive took on both his predecessor's name and role, becoming the second Sid the Outlaw and leader of the reestablished resistance. Together with other survivors and their new recruits, he continues Sid's mission to emancipate bearers and rid the realm of Mother Crystals. And Benedict has got some news as well. Mm. Commander of the Kingdom of Walud's elite intelligencers and dominant of Garuda, after Clive took her power at Carnorvent and the keep was set to fire, she and her comrades were forced into making a hurried retreat only to be set upon by bandits. What was left of Benedict's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind, which, within which she was at last to lose the life at, of the, at, of, <laughs> at the hands of Clive's Rossfield and his icon Ifrit. Okay. Mm. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his God, crimes. this camera angle is just showing. Like, the if they really do a good I job of making him look like a big own. guy, both Sid like metaphorically and physically. His like, his size is big. Woman, his power is big. His strength is big. They've done a really good job and so I of just portraying that constantly. It was me all along, Hugo. Yeah, it's like, I, surprise, bitch. I it killed her. <laughs> I don't think I should have told him that. 
I like how you can... Yo, I'm pausing this for a second so I can say what I'm talking about. This is such... <laughs> jo Joey saying what I bit my tongue so hard not to say. <laughs> um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't know if you guys saw that. Hello, Joey Scoops. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, there was actually a flash of genuine pain in his face. Like, not rage. Like, sadness. And because the acting in this was done with facial motion capture, this would have been the work of the actor. This is amazing. Yeah, this man ain't compensated for anything. <laughs> I don't know if you'll see it when I go back. You might see what I mean. That flash of genuine pain in his face. It, it really makes him more of a real character, almost tragic in a way. Because we know that Benedicta felt absolutely nothing for this son of a bitch. But she was his entire world. Like, genuinely, he is distraught that she's been killed. Oh, Jeffrey, he was down bad. Down so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, look at that. It's anger now, but, like, you can still kind of see in the eyes the flash of pain. Like, he's shaking. That's not just rage. This is a really deep emotion that they're portraying. This is so beautifully done. Like, he, this is not just anger. He is going My through it right now. Indeed. I will have a friendly conversation. This seems like a, a friendly conversation. Loved, just as he did to me. Mm. Hello, Braver. I think the Japanese one did have slightly different motion capture. I don't know if it's just a mouth or not, though. And I shall have my It might just dub over the end stuff though to be honest. Oh, now is the rage. We shared a dream. Actually, no, I you would didn't. be the king of the world. She darling like, ditched you and fucked she another guy. <laughs> and together, we He's so like he would be tragic if he wasn't also so pathetic. Like, dude. Dude, she clearly moved on. <laughs> I think maybe you should try moving on. Yeah, he got played so hard. He does not want to. He's the king of NTR! <laughs> okay, time to kill the NTR king. <laughs> it's time for the attack on Titan! Da 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 Seen their world fall mm. apart around Cause he has been killing so many people to try to get back at me for the sake of a woman that didn't even no love him. Me, no pity and no <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> the king of NTR doesn't give you an excuse to murder a whole town, bro. I get it, you're heartbroken, but that doesn't mean you can murder a whole town. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay, we have no portal. I wasn't sure. Okay, so, <laughs> so far I've done more damage than he has. That's all I care about. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I could be doing worse. Hi. Never mind. Now, now I'm in. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that that mode also heals. Oh, I should use it sparingly. I've been using it whenever it's available to attack. I think I should save it for when I'm about to die. I, I feel like I feel like that is something I should I should remember that that heals and make use of that aspect of it a lot more than I've been doing. I need to use that more strategically. Go with the Simpsons buff. <laughs> oh, little girls. Why not lock on? I can't remember how to lock on, actually. That's legit the reason. <laughs> you can't remember how to lock on! <laughs> I've been trying to figure it out for a while. I'm like pressing. I'm like pressing down the button that I thought it was, but it's like not doing anything. R1? That's what I've been doing, though. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Uh, wait, R1. Isn't R1? R1 is dodge! L1? 
Oh. I could have done so much more damage in so many fights. I was too... I thought it was... I thought it was like the, uh, <laughs> the right sticky stick, like press it in. And I was too embarrassed to admit this whole time that I forgot what the button was. So I've just... <laughs> I was too embarrassed to admit that I couldn't remember, um, so I just didn't, and I was hoping nobody noticed. <laughs> but now that you notice, I, it made more sense to ask for how to do it. <laughs> I was like, they'll never know that I fucked up. They'll never know. <laughs> they'll never know I don't remember. If I just don't do it and don't say anything, it's fine. They noticed. <laughs> oh shit. I love the orchestrated scenes in the middle. So beautiful. Yeah, the OST is so good here. I'm very biased to chorus. Like, vocal choirs. In battle song, he is throwing the floor at me. Won't he fall and hurt himself too, though? I do kind of wish the quick time reactions were a bit faster. Like, give me less time to do it. <laughs> More consequences that way. Yeah, vocal battle themes are beautiful. One of my favorites, it's not actually a vocal battle theme, but I kind of imagined it to be one, is Mezame from My Hime. <gasps> Such a beautiful song. It would make a really good battle theme. I think there's like a battle theme in the an anime, but mm -hmm. it's a bit different. It would be a dream of mine to like someday get to sing it as part of a choir in a song like this in a game. <laughs> That'd be just amazing. <laughs> he lost it. Final, yeah, orchestra's good when it's done right. I feel like Final Fantasy is a very good example of when it's done right. Final Fantasy gets music right a lot. Oh, jeez. I feel like... Ah! Even more than story, um, the one thing that I really feel like Final Fantasy always gets right is the music. genuinely known for it for a reason. They have earned the reputation they got for their music. Wham! God, I love this theme so much. Sounds so damn good. Oh! I have to be careful with that one. If I spam, I can't dodge the wave at the right time. I gotta remember that. Get me out of the circle! <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I almost killed myself by trying to get too hasty in the attack. Nice try. Oh yeah, I forgot to log on again! I remember how, but I forgot for so long that like I don't even remember to do it. <laughs> It's just been like not ingrained in my memory because I have not done it <laughs> for like any of the game. I think I did it once in the tutorial when it was mandatory and then I like never did it again. It feels like a 14 fight. That's what people have said about a lot of the game. I mean, Yoshi Paint did work on it to be fair, but a lot of it feels like 14. And I will agree. It's very different, obviously, but like the way that you use the cooldowns feels a lot like 14. I think that might be why I'm not using so many normal attacks, too. I could. How do I get out of this? There is no out of this! Take. Cause that's pretty cruel 
having less health, I would have been so fucked. There was somewhere, see? Okay, if it happens again, I'm gonna have to be more careful. Okay, ah! where do I go, 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 where do I I would just fucking drop it. <laughs> I could not. I, 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 oh, I don't know how to dodge that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is an intense fight. <laughs> this is terrifying. Come on, please. Please, just die. <laughs> I'm using my normal attacks! Just die! <sighs> oh, Andre and B. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> that was terrifying. I don't think that was it though. There's probably another phase or something. Fucking hell, I used all my potions on this one. I am so dead. <laughs> it can't be that easy, it can't be. It, it would make sense. Mm. He seems to have lost his power though, or at least his strength to use it. He, all he can do is punch. <laughs> Punch me now, Kuka! Me eating my popcorn, except there's dumplings. <laughs> Hot damn, that was cruel. He deserved it though. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of true. My mom kind of is. I'm not gonna defend her. Ah, oh, finally I can have the Titan punchy arm. Oh, Dark Saiyan! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! <laughs> he resolved to Titan ground pounding. With his arms, not even his hands. This man is just pure rage incarnate right now. I feel like something like with Garuda, like Titan's about to take control. And he's gonna lose all of his humanity. Like it's gonna look like him, but it's gonna be Titan. Whoa. There, there. You must. 
mustn't get yourself worked. Who the fuck? Wait. That voice was kind of hot. Also, the way he picked him up was kind of hot. Another time, Mythos. Who? I guess we don't know. Look at him strut away into the darkness. Oh, yeah. I need to know more about this mystery, this mystery dude. <laughs> ah! Yeah, Ultima did call me Mythos as well. Mm. I think so. Well, Ludus, scum. Who the fuck invited them? Yeah, that's true. The fact that um, Koopka decided to fight me without even really having like the best armor or anything. That's because another trait of Koopka is that he was arrogant. He was arrogant and overconfident because he had so much power. He didn't think anyone could actually stop him. He thought he was invincible, genuinely. And he's not. Mm. The kingdom of Walud. The sole surviving nation in Ash, Walud has its capital in Stunar, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. It's ruled over by Barnabas Tharm, Dominant of Odin and Warden of Darkness, who has long harbored ambitions of extending his reach into the neighboring continent of Storm. Somewhat surprisingly, the Samarkand Empire's incursion into the Crystalline Dominion prompted no immediate response from the king, who appears to be biding time and considering his next move. Hmm. The Royal Knights of Walud. The Kingdom of Walud's main battlefield forces, also known as the King's Guard, while they ultimately answer to King Barnabas, the Knight's orders are usually issued by the Lord Commander. The Royal Intelligencers, a special unit led by Benedict the Harman, dominant of Garuda, are a notable exception to this rule, reporting as they do, do not, <laughs> they do not d directly to the king, but her. Mm. Anger can make your brain shift too. We lose rationality when we get angry. We lose the ability to think rationally, we just react. In any situation, if you react before you think, you're fucked. Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had to do. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Mm. I just realized I forgot to do something. Hold on. So you... It makes the game, it makes the stream look better. I forgot to do something. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> now it's just gonna look a little cleaner. Mm. When the colors change and stuff. Mm. Purple's Gav. always a good boy. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. Hmm. Torgal turns around, he's like, no you don't. Oh, I think Clive found you. <laughs> you missed one. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty epic, not so gonna say. You're not gonna deny. Mm. I was so close. Mm. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. Mm. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. But we didn't kill Titan. Phase two is going to be somewhere else, probably. When did the royalists arrive? Right Why do I feel like he's going to get somehow like gigantic hands? Just, when we thought we were shot Just literally Titan's, Titan's hands on his body. <laughs> In pile audience. Mm. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. Hello, Infinity. So, what? You, think the you missed Kukra catching it? boss's hands. You did, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, fuck I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. Mm. So what do we do? We should probably I take a break and like heal. <laughs> back to the hideaway. If he's go yeah, I was gonna say if he got away anyway, we need to fucking heal. Tired to think. Mm. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. Mm. She's almost executed. Let's worry about Koopka later, shall mm. we? Good call. Aye. All right. 
It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Yeah, we don't even know why it like a poopy transforms. We never figured it out. Mm. It's really hard to say who my favorite character is so far, to be honest. The thing is, the characters are all so well-written that they're all very intriguing. Although I, I quite like, um, Benedicta and Sid. The two of them were very strong, I feel. Hmm. All right. What if I didn't go to the hideaway? Okay, never mind. there's nothing good to do. Let's go to the hideaway. <laughs> Have you met Dion yet? It sounds familiar. I think I met Dion. Um, I, I, he's the other prince. I, I don't think I met him, but I've seen his portrait. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Mm. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? Okay, to be fair, no I was captured, bro. Your ladyship. I order you bro, it's this. not like she meant this to happen. Can you be kinder, please? <laughs> I'll rest. Although, yes, she should rest. You haven't met him in game, but you've seen him. That's what I thought. Okay, we're on the same page then. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Mm. Back when he had some like. <laughs> he is. He is. Wow. Gav going in for the kill. I'm wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. Mm. And I'll talk to Torms. The Lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. Oh yeah, he might know something. Friends ever done that before. I'm betting Tom's will have read about it. Mm -hmm. But what I want to know is what happens afterwards. It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs mm. him what it costs Jill. Right. Mm. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? He's currently leading against Jill. Muldoon. Oh, okay. Listen to Talia. I will. Thank you. At least they have a moment to breathe. Which means something very bad is going to happen soon by RPG logic. As soon as you have a moment to breathe, everything's going to go to hell. Power of Earth. Clive has claimed a portion, like on Titan's essence. Attuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Ability details are found in the abilities in the main room. Let's go, let's go power up some stuff. We haven't done that in a while. I <laughs> Titan's feet. I never said feet with like two E's, and I was like, what the fuck, Titan's feet? Mmm. <laughs> I like Clive's mom as a character as well. She, they did a really good job of making her hateable. Mm. Okay. So Titan's block can fend off most attacks, but you have to time it really well, like a parry, right? So I feel like I should never use that with my timing. <laughs> I don't think I got the skills. Abilities. Okay, let's see what I can power up. Hmm. block. I do want to master wind up. I quite enjoy using that. Um. Hmm. I want to save that as like a stupid powerful one. Mm. <coughs> Sorry, I like inhaled part of the dumpling. Hmm. You time it like a parry, but it's pretty forgiving. I don't think I'm going to be good at using it, though, to be honest. Like, I'm really bad at dodging and timing type things, so... Upheaval. I use upheaval a lot, too. I remember using that on the demo, and I really liked it. Mmm. What are some other options I have? Rage... <laughs> Although I think, hmm, I think I'd rather maybe use those ones. Although the ability to send them flying. 
might be useful to get rid of enemies I don't want instead of wind up. Never mind. <laughs> I can't learn that one. Um, I use ignition a lot. Okay. Mm. I don't think I use that one a lot. Mm. Mm. You can use a block pretty much any time you would use a dodge. I just panic spam the dodge button though. So it's probably better for me to just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> panic spam has never let me down. <laughs> okay. Actually, it's let me down a lot, but it's fine. <laughs> Otter, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? He's, in other words, there's never a good time. Ty is mm. making sure she gets the rest she needs. Hmm. Good. I feel like Clive he should also be resting, though. Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. Mm. We've sent owls out to the curse breakers and their other friends in the west, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. Mm. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Mm. Let me know when you find something. Mm. There he is. Who is she? Oh, Still busy saving the world. She almost looks like gender bent Joshua. Oh my god, her braid! <laughs> hey, she's so cute! I love her long hair! <laughs> Just now. Well, Do we have a Jill stopped. rival? A Jind? Since Hugo Cook came Yeah, she seems area. really cute! Oh, she's like the Genki girl of the game. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. <laughs> she right, seems really right, fun. I love her carefree you. attitude. Oh, well, staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, <sighs> oblige her. <laughs> Is she like Why her daughter or something, I wonder? Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. I like her outfit too, it's very simple. I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. Her voice! As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled I agree, she thoughts. seems like a really fun character. I'm excited to learn more about her. I'll take that as a compliment. Well? She has a very positive outlook, which contrasts so, basically every other character in the entire game right now. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, <laughs> like. I just come in like a storm. Mm, I love her already, too. <laughs> Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? I wonder, my doll tell him one. A student of engineering at the University of Canberra. She's well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology, as any scholar in the twins, and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. Okay, so she's a scholar. All of that. My fee for bringing mid across. Hence the professor. You were paying that little. <laughs> she is a brat. I love her. I love her! <laughs> I don't personally think I recognize her last name. I don't know if it's related to someone else we saw. I don't remember anyone called Telemon though. I have a bad memory, guys. <laughs> I don't remember! Thank you, Sid, for coming back to us. I thought I could get through here, but that's together. Not. Mm -mm. You guys are lucky I remember the characters' first names, okay? <laughs> I don't remember no one's last name. Oh, I I get there. Mm. Yeah, none of the characters stood out to me, but it was more so in um in the first trailer, I guess, than anything. 
ever since I've seen more from the actual game, I feel very different. I feel like a decent amount of them um, stand out now. Ah, okay. Wait, no. already in this that has Telemon as a last name and I should know this. Is there like a glossary? Like, like, is there a thing that's just like, here's every character you met that I can go to? <laughs> Where's my list of characters? <laughs> Betrayed. <laughs> you took your time. I can check with Tones? How do I, how do I do that? I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. <laughs> You've only just come dad. back. And who's her dad? I've been thinking about it for a while. Part of me wants to say Sid, but I feel like that's dad too said I had an obvious. Told me everything he knew about it. Gav, maybe. Based on the accent, maybe it's Gav. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. Mm. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me neck to work. I know that mm. I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. Wait, I was it Sid now. then? All right. <laughs> I didn't even know Sid had a child, man. <laughs> say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me. My brain hurts. Well. <laughs> what do you want? Man, I can't believe I First forgot Sid's last name. He's just Sid to me. Own. Just Sid, that's There's it. The just Sid. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on. I wonder if her Yeah, her lore probably just literally changed. Yes, it almost tell him on. I not that I would ever remember. <laughs> that's all I got from his name was Sid. That's all I needed to know, Sid. It's like that's good enough for me. <laughs> Daughter of Sid. Okay, 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 okay. Mmm. Apart from the woods. A side quest that, hinted. I, I don't yours. remember. Is that everything? For mm. now. I'll let you know if I need out else. What I'm surprised at is how old his daughter looks. How old is Sid? <laughs> Did he have a daughter when he was really uh, fucking young? Or is Sid a lot older than I thought? Because I imagine him being around like 35. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> You're Sid now, can I your dad? I don't want to be your dad. Yeah. She looks too dateable. I don't want to be your dad. I don't like this option. Hmm. Sid's usually play a fatherly role. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's kind of how they ended up doing that in this one. Give him an actual daughter. I should probably um, see if there's any new good weapons to buy. Hmm. 35 is RPG grandpa territory. Okay, that's kind of true. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Come on, sister. Think you can find mm. everything on there? They're slow. Mm. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. Mm. As for payment, it's paid hundred times over by what? That's I true. My mom is around fifty or so, and she is still smoking. Filters, she doesn't look a day over like twenty-two. <laughs> drain the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. Mm. I'll send the stuff on to Med when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Nice, nice. Can I buy shit from you, though? And what can I do for you? Coin purse weighing you down. Ooh. <gasps> oh, baby, give me that strong sword. Okay. You're rubbing me blind, you know. 
I'm giving you money. What the fuck? I'm not robbing you. I'm giving you- I'm literally handing you cash. I don't think this lady knows the definition of robbing. Hmm. I think I should go with the hunter option. Hello, Alexigara! Cannot find a better price than that. I know. Hmm. I think those are the good ones that you get, right? Nova, hello! How are you doing? Bum, 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 bum. We are playing some more Final Fantasy 16. Right now, we're having a bit of a chill moment in the middle. I'm buying some shit. Uh, we just did some incredibly intense scenes. For anyone unfamiliar with Final Fantasy 16, just a heads up, it's very much a mature and dark game. So once we get out of the store and we're not spending money anymore, just, just be aware it's gonna be a little intense. <laughs> uh, let me pull up one of your clips real quick. So anyone who's not familiar can be introduced to your wonderful stuff. I wonder if one thing is on your channel, if it's on another one, hold on. I know kind of what I wanna share, but only if it's on yours. <laughs> What? <laughs> maybe I should call it, maybe I should play this one. It looks good. It looks good. Would I, would I fuck an FGO character? Let's watch a tiny bit of that. I'm intrigued. I want to find out if Nova would fuck an FGO character. Let's find out together. <laughs> give me, give me a second. I have to set it up. Mm -mm -mm. Papa. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's find out. Hi! We are ranking FGO characters, and whether or not I would f them or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, kill me, daddy. Okay, true. Yes, yes. Agree, agree. He, I would ask him to kill me. I wouldn't complain. I'd be like, yes, please. <laughs> Okay, okay, I would. Yes, yes, yes. Go. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Under understandable. You know, you just, you're in bliss. You're in bliss. Okay, waiver. Okay, that. Whoa. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about him, but that long hair leaning over the couch. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about him, but. That's a horse! That's a horse! <laughs> Okay, she's really cute. Mm. I don't know if that would be a smash or if that would be like a, a, a wish. I wish I was them. I mean, I don't know. He looked kind of... <laughs> I'm biased to characters with white hair, though. Okay, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I would. I would. Yep. F fat boys or, 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 or masculine women. Both are good. Both are good. <laughs> the armpit window. Why does that exist? Although I guess it would help with sweat if your arm could breathe. <laughs> oh, because she looks like you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut it there. If you want to watch the rest of the video, you're going to have to go and run over to Nova's channel. And then you can catch the rest of it and learn um, if your favorite characters would or would not be fucked by Nova. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! For those of you who don't know me, I'm Obake Pam, CEO of Play Asia. I do a lot of different streams like gaming and voice acting and singing. And right now, we're doing a bit of um, Final Fantasy 16. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this one. It's been very chill. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything here I would want. <laughs> Charges magic spells and maintains the charge until cast. Excess 3 will not trigger. I don't think I need that necessarily. Um, limit break by 3%. That's pretty good, but I don't use that often. Uh, see you, Lazy Shinobi. And also, welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone who came in. Thanks for coming. Uh, cobalt tassels. Hmm. Increases limit break. Generation by 6% when taking damage, but I try not to take damage. <laughs> it reduces heat wave cooldown, gambit cooldown. Ooh, increases money earned. That looks good. Because then I can get more of these faster. 
Did she run away? I don't know. Possibly. If she didn't want me to watch it, why put it on YouTube? Why put it on YouTube? Blind, you know. Why put it on YouTube? <laughs> if you put it on YouTube, I'm gonna watch it. Finished, I'm gonna watch are it. <laughs> yeah, we're finished. We're gonna go over this guy. You've been lurking. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was gonna say, if she's ashamed, I'm screaming just as badly. <laughs> have a good lurk! Also, make sure to rest if you need to. I know streaming takes a lot of energy. <laughs> Do you think you can make them? Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? And her ship? That would be cute if she was. <laughs> see what I can do. You know you're down I bad, Sam, bro. <laughs> Sam. My thanks. I literally just watched Amidst someone get killed out. and then watched somebody else like drag them away and I was like, that's hot. That <laughs> that's oh, I want to figure out who the guy that showed up and took him away was. He looked very hot. So I need right. to know. I just need to know. Wait! In our new clothes! Did you get a new model today? I've been so bad at keeping up with everybody. Did you get a new outfit? Ooh, I'll have to go check it out to you. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards! <laughs> she got a new Yu-Gi-Oh card for her deck. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Good <laughs> I thought you meant she got a new model and did like a Yu-Gi-Oh stream with it. I was like, oh, was it a Yu-Gi-Oh inspired model? Do we have like Dark Magician Girl Nova? <laughs> That'd be really Help cute. Master Sig? Bardolf. Maid's looking to build a Mommy's her boss story. monster. Ah, I thought you meant her. <laughs> so naturally I thought of you. Well, I, I heard well mommy and I was like, yes, I that can. must mean the feet you. I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place like... afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't mm. patch them, will all of us sink into the mirror? I gladly spare mid mm. all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. Nah, no, she's dad. I mean, that's that's relatable. I see. I feel like I have more dad, or like, I don't even think I have dad vibes. I feel like I have bratty little sister or like bratty little brother vibes. <laughs> Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. Mm. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Least I could do. Nice, nice, nice. Now where do we go? Brr. I don't actually know. <laughs> Maybe back on the full map somewhere? Ah, yes. Okay. Find Martha, I'm assuming. Hmm. Mm-mm. Oh, 36 yards, that's so close. Just go inside. I thought this place was wrecked. I must have remembered wrong. Yeah, no, she's fine. <laughs> ah, Clive, what brings mm. you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra I guess it's been years out. since this place was wrecked, huh? I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he mm. don't. We're all friends. Look, Carlos, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on mm. business. No idea what, mind. Mm -hmm. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I guess we oh, have a chill there. section of main quests for a little bit before we're gonna be tossed back into emotional suffering hell. <laughs> yeah, this is a little break for our sanity. Mm. How far is it? Ah, I guess there's nothing else I can use to zoom. Stay sharp. Standard stick. I am not going the right way. <laughs> Let's go back up and around the other side. I like the chill music that's playing right now. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of nice. Where we have. The slight break. No, but wild beasts, they mm. said. In between the really intense parts of the story, we just get, you know, this brief little section where we get to listen 
to some chill music. Some chill music. And then I ruin it by pulling out the chocobo. <laughs> Faster. I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> that walking was just too slow, man. I'm not walking that far. And there's a reason they gave us a chocobo at this point. Mm -hmm. Exactly, we ride. We ride all the way into the sunset. Even though there's no sun. Only Enough fog. Are, eh? And clouds. And sadness. Wait. What? What, what was that? What was that? What was that? Why can't I? Be... Straight home now. I want to talk to this. Why can I talk to this? I guess I have to fight this one. This one is so over leveled. I can just wreck them with two seconds. I guess that one's too high. There. It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Mm. I don't recall seeing this before. Doesn't seem to be working now. Hmm, shame. <laughs> that would have made travel a bit faster if that's what I think of this. Might not be though, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Ready, go. I wish I could whistle. I think I got it once on stream. I cannot figure out how to whistle. I feel so <laughs> I feel so left out. Because like everyone can whistle. And I just fucking can't whistle. I don't get it. Just like in my singing lessons, my coach was trying to be like, you have to roll your R's when you sing Italian. And I'm like, that's great, but I can't roll my R's. <laughs> Thank you, Sentai, for subscribing. This is like, bleh, I can't do it. How do you fucking roll your R's? I can do Japanese R's like, but then I have to do it like, I can do it with my lips, but like on like my, with my tongue, I can't do it. <laughs> Why, the end the lad who saved my life? What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Hmm. Martha said I might find you here. I hmm. have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Mm -hmm. So what do you think of my proposition? Be carpenter. Building a workshop, you say? Hello, Mr. J. Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And mm -hmm. if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, oh my guy, you can just see the monsters in the background. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor though, could I? Before we go. Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Mm. Ain't much left of it now, though. Yeah, I was gonna Got say, it looks like it's in ruins. Looks like a town but you'd find near. I, I came near. up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling mm. with fiends. So it's an assassination but mission, but monsters. But you're a when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Mm. Any chance you could... Uh, yeah, I'll the take care I can of do. it. Mm -hmm. Thank you kindly. And take care. Hmm. Oh, this should be quick. Just a little routine cleanup. Now that I know how to lock on anyway, it should be <laughs> I can't I can't believe how many boss fights I did without knowing how to lock on. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm sure they would have gone so much quicker if I knew how to lock on. It even taught me in the tutorial. I just literally go and forget. That's so shameful. It's <laughs> so bad. How do you forget the basics? Just so the tip of the tongue to your roof of your mouth and exhale on it. It's so Fighting garbage because I'm looking at chat instead. I need someone Italian to teach me how to do it. How do you move your tongue when you talk? I cannot. I cannot figure out. <laughs> I'm 
think how he just screams it. He's like, Garuda! And I'm just like, chill, bro. You're just fighting the baby level monsters. Calm the fuck down. You're not fighting Titan this time. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to buy more potions. I just kind of assumed that I would find the treasure chest, but I might not. So it's really restock when I go back to my hideout. Hello, Brian, hear me? Clive is always at 110% energy. Only when he's angry. When he's like happy, he doesn't really show it. He just shows his he just shows his energy when he's mad. Or being dramatic, you know. an RPG protagonist. I mean, are you, are you really an RPG protagonist if you're not at least a little bit emo? I don't think so. I feel like it's a prerequisite. Let's try. You must be. You must be the most sword person usually. Clav and Shulk have got tier views. Yeah! I feel like Xenoblade and Final Fantasy are really good examples of why we need more British girls. Honestly, there's not a lot of them out there. And very often, the ones that we get are really good. I don't want to hear more of them for like fantasy stuff. As much as there's nothing wrong with dubs being done in like LA or New York or wherever. I, I want to see more British ones. Mm. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can Aww, rest in peace once more. I really like British dubs in like fantasy esque titles or like detective titles. Despite the game being terrible, Dr. Lautrec had some of the best voice acting I've ever heard in video games. It was really fun and quirky. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Or it may as well have been a century looking at the place. I think part of the reason why we end up liking British dubs so much, though, is simply because we don't hear the same voice actors as often. Because ah, be. dubs that I are done in, in Texas or LA, they tend to use the same be. actors over and over and over and over. And even if British dubs do the same thing, we don't hear the same actors as often because most dubs tend to be done in America. So it's like, it's something fresh and different. Don't you take care of Mid's little list? Never head back before she thinks of anything else. <laughs> He's like, let's go back before she makes us do more work. Double checking, no plus signs. Mm. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with seeing hearing the same people a lot because they're good and they deserve the work, sure. But the problem is, it, like, it sucks because it's not like, hey, you've been in too many things, you shouldn't work. But it sucks when it feels limited because then there's just not as much variety as there otherwise could be, you know? Hmm. Okay, yeah. I don't necessarily know if there's a policy of having the same actors. I think it's because certain people have reputations of being like, reliable and good to work with and like they have the skills to carry it and they'll bring their fan base with them there's a lot of benefits to hiring famous actors but i also feel like there's a lot of benefits to hiring new people i am because when you hire a new voice a actor, like, people are going to see it as the character. The They're not going to see really it as, didn't. like, oh, Thanks look, that. that's Yuri Lowenthal. Like, imagine that Yuri Lowenthal voice plot. People aren't going to be like, oh, that's Yuri Lowenthal. They're going to be like, that's Clive. That's Clive's voice actor. If they become known, that character will be known. Like, it won't just be like, oh, it's another Yuri Lowenthal. Not that there's anything wrong with being like an A-list top actor. It's just that there's benefits to new people as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Good free one to get. That's my good deed for the day done. Mm -hmm. Let's see how Jill's faring. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think we need more competition necessarily. There's a lot of competition for voice acting. There's, there's so much co like competition, it's unfathomable. 
But the thing is, the same people are still often cast. Not always. There's a lot of productions that do vary it up a little bit. But the same people are very often cast for a lot of good reasons. And there's a lot of reasons why it would be cool to hire different people, too. It's just a really complicated situation. Oh, but there is nice. competition. That's, oh, needing yeah. more isn't an issue. Oh, it's more needing to hire Something, new people. But she still needs her rest. Mm. Of course. I think what it is is some I studios kind of specifically I'll stick to best. groups of people they've worked with before. Oh, Gav was looking for you. Mm. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask so about So it's, it's more an issue with specific studios to something. an extent. Like, I don't think it's quite the same now, but you notice a lot of the big games done um, end up having a lot of similar actors. Like, Erica Harlister is in a lot of stuff. She's really good, and I love her. Um, it's just an example of people that tend to end up in a lot of big projects. Mm. But you don't notice it as much when you hear a dub from, like, a country you're not used to. That might be a reason a lot of people like Dragalia Lost as well. Let's see. Clive, where have you Aww, been? Aw, Torgal's head I've turned. been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Mm -hmm. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Hello, Matthew. Uh, Dragalia has gone. Way before it's one of his expeditions into the north. It was so beloved. I was surprised to see it go down. When they heard his cries and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, mm. Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, mm. but a rare frost wolf. Ooh. An animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In That's one of our cool. oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Mm. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Mm. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the frost wolf. <laughs> the animals do not state it explicitly. But I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. Probably a based on his power. Territories and her faithful hound. Mm. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other. Mm. You're saying that Jill granted Togal his powers. Oh, you really? I see. Clive's faithful friend is fiercely protective of him and his allies. However, it emerges that he is much more than a mere sun town. He's a rare frost wolf, imbued with the sorcerer's strength, and is able to call upon and defend his allies in times of crisis. Precious baby. Mm, exactly. Terrible Fenrir, all different names for the same group boy. <laughs> and I actually disagree with the idea of having financial incentive um, to hire new actors. In some cases... Because then I think there's another issue. It's not the same as... It is to an extent. Um, seasoned actors can choose to charge more. Um, because some people might pay more for like stars if they have a big name or star power. Um, but usually that's the only way. It would be if they choose to pay more. Um, there's not really a financial incentive to hire new people. Besides the fact that they might not ask for more than the minimum. Um, but... I don't agree necessarily with financial incentives to hire new people because the problem with that is then, um, at least the way financial incentives often work, you're paying them less just because they're new. But in my opinion, that's also not very appropriate because even it doesn't matter if they're experienced or new, they're doing the same amount of work. And I feel like they should be paid in a value of the work they're doing, you know? Mm. Okay, so this is where Torgal's from. A bitterly cold corner of storms most northerly reaches. The loose collection of nations that sprang up around the region's erstwhile mother crystal, Drake's Eye, reunited and pacified by Ursuk Elwyn Rosfield. Was there, why does that sound like he just took over and was a terrible person? <laughs> However, in the years following Rosaria's annexation by the Empire, 
A combination of both the Blight's inexorable advance and Sunbreak's lack of interest in territories has only worked to quicken the area's destabilization. What? Just like Fenrir. Hmm. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were uh. inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva. So he's actually he's Jill's later, dog all along. It's like when you adopt a dog as a kid and it bonds with your dad lost. instead, and you just so like. All right. <laughs> blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Good. Mm -hmm. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a frost wolf. Mm. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're yeah, the sure Torgal cost the true. He is our son. He is our and precious regarding son. Regarding your original <laughs> concerns, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Oh, Why good. the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, <laughs> found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> The only one that mis that misunderstood what was meant by that. <laughs> hmm. Definitely a Koji line. Oh yeah. I literally just rejoined. What a time to come back. Like, well, I could have done it without you. I'm gonna work the fingers to the bone for you, lot. Starting right now. Just um. you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward Aww. to seeing hmm. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking Doug. Let's find out. Any progress be made? Okay. I'm probably gonna have to take another break soon. Just a heads up. Um, but I would like to. There's prob. I want to ask one thing. Am I getting to? Um. Am I getting to uh fighting Kupka scene again within a reasonable amount of time? Not necessarily right away. But is it like? Many, many hours, or is it like reasonable that I could in a in like one or two hours maybe get to it? Mm. I think she is the equivalent of a Genki girl. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I've been getting. <laughs> no, not your any hello. Hmm. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Mm -hmm. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. Mm, okay. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. So we don't have any if final info yet. Yeah, keep together looking. To you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Mm hmm. What's with this silence? What? Here. Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? That was I so awkward. You didn't <laughs> your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. Mm. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. Jill will. <laughs> <laughs> or Joshua will probably. Oh, uh, Clive. Have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. I'd laugh really hard a if it was guest. Kuka. Hmm? For 
your trouble. It was a pleasure. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Uncle Byron? Yo! Clive, my boy! Uncle! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I missed him! He was so wholesome and fun! <laughs> About two to three hours. Mm. It's getting a bit late for that, I wonder. Maybe we can make a bit more progress and then um, we might have to save before we get there. I Meanwhile. But if we have to save before we get there, that just means we can have our Attack on Titan Part 2 stream. <laughs> so maybe it'll be fine. We can make some progress and not quite get there all the way. I kind of like the idea of naming one of them Attack on Titan. Get to before the dungeon. Maybe that'll be a good compromise. Yeah, and then we start with the banger section next time. I probably won't play again until next week, but... Mm, it's inside the former capital of the Crystalline Dominion. After a unilateral maneuver by the Holy Empire of Sunbreak in 873, it became an imperial capital. I would probably go a bit longer if it was a Saturday or a Friday. Um, but I think I'd rather split it, into if it's that long, into two days. Because the thing is... If it's that long, um, it's a Thursday, right? A lot of you guys are going to need to go to sleep for work and stuff. And I don't think a Thursday is necessarily the best day to stream until stupid o'clock. <laughs> I know I do it with 14 on Mondays, but that's become like the standard. For this game, I often do it on Friday, so a lot of you guys might not be able to stick around. Hmm. The Holy Empire of Sunbreak. Uh, I'm in the Mapaka. Who needs to sleep for work? A lot of people should, actually. <laughs> Including me, actually. I have, a, I have a CEO meeting in the morning. <laughs> you guys don't know what time it is already. A reunion occupying the northeastern reaches of the continent of Storm. After suffering the ignominy of losing Drake's head to an audience audacious uh, audience audacious assault by the outlaw sid in 873 the empire set its sights on the mother crystal of its nearest neighbor the crystal and dominion so that's the one they're trying to get sunbreak's legions duly stormed the historically neutral territory and installed the imperial capital at Tunside. this brazen act of conquest sent shock waves across valisthea and heightened the already considerable tension between the empire and the dalmakian republic bum, 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 bum. <laughs> You're okay because you can't sleep at night too humid? <gasps> That's what I hate about summer. We actually had to get an air conditioner installed um, when I was a kid. And everywhere I go now, I have to have like a portable air conditioner or something at least. Because I, I deal so bad with the humidity that I have trouble breathing. Um, and I get really dizzy and really tired. I, I struggled with that a lot when I visited the Philippines. Um, it was, it was really humid and really hot, and I was, like, my, my, my stamina was so low, I would, like, perish so quickly. <laughs> I am weak. <laughs> I'm, I'm mentally very strong. I, I am mentally very strong. But physically, I am so fucking weak. <laughs> You've been sleeping during the morning? If your job allows for that or whatever other obligations you have, that's great. Because I feel like sleeping at a time that's more comfortable for you is always better than trying to force yourself to sleep at a time that's not comfortable. Hmm. The senior statesmen that make up the highest office of government in Sunbreak after the emperor himself, the Council of Elders. The council is comprised of the High Cardinal, representative of Central Sunbreak, and the Holy Capital Oriflam, and the four cardinals who administer the outer provinces, the northern, southern, eastern, and western seas. If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse mm. them. Oh, it's Dion! We get to actually meet him now. We must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Why? And we have many more mouths to feed. His beard looks like a lion mane. The their you know what's so weird about him? This bothers me so much. You can have a mustache without a beard, but you can't really have a beard without a mustache. It looks so wrong! <laughs> it looks like his face is half naked! 
I don't know why it bothers me so much. This would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I oh god, it's the creepy child again. Would have had the courage to trade words. He is lying in his mom. He is his mom's lap dog. What is so fucking creepy? You are a human! Stop being a lapdog! You are old enough to be a child and realize that this is weird. Very good. My king is so lazy. Lying in his chair like bleh, downing wine. Now, oh my god, let us come to the question of precisely <laughs> when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of the Beard without a mustache is an Amish beard. Oh, is it? Is it actually a thing? Now I feel mean. <laughs> now I feel mean the if the there's actually a culture that does that. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> well, let us keep the negotiations open. Give them time Oh, mind. If that's a normal thing, then it's fine, I guess. <laughs> and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant mm. to meet him. And while his highness... I will admit, Dion is very prevail, pretty. There would be I don't know anything about him other than his face is pretty. He's prettier than me, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Even were the dull next to send for him, he would not arrive in time. Mm. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan... Oh, he knows we're gonna fight. To and what of your subjects, your radiance? Oh, his voice is smooth as butter. They almost voice is smooth. Hey, go, go, got dominant of Icon Titan, Warden of Earth. On learning the identity of the one who slew his beloved Benedicta, he sends his forces to ransack Rosalith, capital city of Rosaria, and Clive's former home. In the hope of drawing him out, Clive takes up the offer and is able to best in battle, cutting off his hands in the process. But before Clive can deal the finishing blow, the helpless Hugo is spirited away by a mysterious man from Walud. They're against using technology? Yes and no. I can't remember the name of it, but there's this period that um, teens are allowed to go through before they decide to like commit to the Amish lifestyle. Where they get to like use as much technology and do as many like things if against the, the rules as they want to test proper, if they'd rather the live like that. The it. mm. It's probably more complicated than that, but there will be losses. It is true. Dion does not seem to like this yeah, ruthlessness. Rumspring that yeah, I thought so. I just couldn't remember the exact burn. name. I knew it was like R spring something. So burn. I think that sounds about another right, Shauna. Thank you. Built. The Empire will live on. God, this guy's an ass. Dion seems like an actual decent human being. Dion? He cares for yes, more sir. than just power. I think I'm gonna really like Dion. Hmm. <laughs> Was it drugs? You just sniffer, 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 sniffer. Get high off that pollen. Or is it just sniffer for the sake of sniffer? Amish pretzels are the best. I've never had them. Are they like soft pretzels or hard pretzels? What kind of pretzels? He looks so distraught. Like he's completely losing faith in his father. Prepare for battle. But sire. I feel like he's gonna betray his dad. Oh, I love soft pretzels. Now I wanna find them. To <gasps> and await my orders. Oh. That was so ruthless. That's like he truly realized how little his dad Radiance. values his I opinion. Depart at once. I genuinely think he's gonna betray his dad. What a bitch. Fucking devil. I can't believe I used to wanna action. Nah, she can have her hands locked off you. like Titan. Good night, Ruby. He knows his son's gonna betray him. <gasps> he's gonna send someone to assassinate Dion. 
or not. The stars are in agreement, Your Radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Oh, yes! So Annabella's tales were true. Oh, she... You disappoint me, Dion. Dion's gonna join us. Dion's gonna join us for sure. Okay. <laughs> I cannot handle her just smiling like that with her lapdog child. It's the creepiest fucking thing. <gasps> I can't. I can't. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? <laughs> we'll find out in a minute once I recover my sanity. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, hold on. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I agree. She somehow became creepier after becoming Empress. Mm. Something important about the flower on that camera zoom in? Yeah, I should have checked if there was any important info on it. Shit. I feel like I feel like the flower was maybe signifying like that he was a sacrifice or something like that. I don't know. Mm. Uh -huh. That being said. Um, I am going to take another quick break and then we'll play maybe another hour or two to get a bit more progress. And then when we find a really good spot to leave off, we'll stop there and then next time we'll have Attack on Titan, um, final season part two. <laughs> However, I figure out how to phrase that. It should be a good time. But for now, we're gonna have another break. Hold on. though so if you're not yeah. 18 well sorry no minors fucking allowed <laughs> no <laughs> literally but uh a material a material a material a material world yeah living <laughs> in a material world living 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 in a material world <laughs> shooting date. Oh wait, no! Maybe it was the other kind of bang bang. I thought I thought I came here to shooty shooty bang bang, but apparently I just came here to bang bang. <laughs> Come on, baby! We only have a few people left, but it's so close. Thank you, thank you. Just in time, just in time, just in time. Okay, all I have to do is stay fucking alive. I am near the thing, that's not. Um... Jen, it's me! I don't remember where to go! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Glorious Gob Strike! Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Glorious Gob Strike! Oh! <laughs> yes, Echo, thank you. I'm not choking on sausage. <laughs> um, um, um. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> okay, so this one lines up with this spot. So maybe. <gasps> Woo! Fuck! <laughs> oh god, I gotta jump! Oh, oh yeah, there's a double jump. I forgot. Ah, fuck. I ran too far back! Okay, that didn't happen. You didn't see that, 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 you didn't see that. Nothing happened, we just started. We, we, we just happened to start with not full HP because um we decided that it would be more fun this way. Handicap, let's go. I'm so good at the game, I decided to start with a handicap. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I had to make it harder for me, guys. The game was too easy. I couldn't I couldn't bear with it. I couldn't I couldn't give you guys such a subpar stream. I had to make the game harder. <laughs> it 
has a hoodie that has the little fluffy ears on it. Oh, that's really cute. The spring in attire is pretty damn adorable. Um, <gasps> when you move, it do wiggles. It wiggles. Look at wiggles. <laughs> it wiggles. I meant to go somewhere where you can't see me. Hold on. <laughs> killed me. You disappointed what? me too many times. No, 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 no. Oh. Are you twerking on my face when I'm dead? No. <laughs> you maybe not. <laughs> she killed their commander? What? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, no. And yes, it does have very different meanings. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> that was either a localization or a coding mistake, but you can't just say yes, it does while the text is no. <laughs> this is the most suspicious denial I've ever heard. <laughs> the text might say no, but your voice is saying something else, lady. Ice cream and blue bag. Ice cream and booba, yeah. Ice cream and booba, yeah. No broccoli. Ice cream and booba, yeah. Ice cream and booba, yeah. Okay, over. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the epic ice cream and booba, but we are going to go back to the game for a little while. <laughs> Let's go! I do want to check real quick if there's any more um, plus side quests, but I don't think so, so let's just progress with the main story! We're doing so good at progressing in this game. Incredible. <laughs> Faster than any game I ever streamed. I think the game is just like, other than the side quests, of course, it's a bit of a shame that we have to skip a lot of them, but um, I feel like, I feel like this game was actually designed to an extent with streamers in mind. I think that's why it is so streamlined as a baseline. Like there's other stuff you can do, but the streamlining really makes it a lot easier to stream and actually make some progress. <laughs> so for people like me. Ah, my dear nephew. Mm. How I've missed you. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Mm. Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. Mm. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. I was rather heroic. Which is why I came to learn the full truth of the matter. Saw the fact uh -oh. from the fiction. What did he learn that Titan got away? You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaletta Port Isolde. Hmm. I was. Oh, uh, nice! And I have questions for He's you. He's going incognito yes. to help everyone get I'm out. Sorry, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Gladly. 
Uncle is literally the best guy. <laughs> he is so nice. I just realized that he has like three ponytails in the back of his head. Two thousand. Oh, the voice crack. <laughs> it was like. It's just like, and oh, I'm afraid oh, that is all I know. <laughs> A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Mm. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded mm. from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew mm. dealt a decisive <laughs> blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think. With this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Mm. And that explains what's going on right now. Come here and I'll show you. Suddenly, the army movements and stuff make sense. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. <laughs> Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. As former capital of the Duchy of Rosaria, when Kugel Kupka's forces invaded, the entire city was put to the torch. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. So the entire city was ruined, not just a part of it. And the magnificent castle sacked, causing many of its inhabitants to flee. Hello, White Wolf! They okay. said of your visitors from Walud. Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield mm. to the next. And in the Ein Heyer, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift, mm. and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond ash. Yes, mm. it seems safe to assume that the royalists did indeed enter Rosaria mm -hmm. from the sea. So then, Okay. Mm hmm Iron, Iron Roar. A flagship for the Walluder Navy, also known as the Black Galleon. <laughs> it gives me, like, Black Cauldron vibes, but, like, pirates. Mm hmm Alongside the Royal Cavalry, it is the pride of Walud and is capable of swiftly delivering elite troops onto enemy soil to make war in the name of the mighty Odin. Do you Odin. a vested interest in Titan's survival? Whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? Mm. A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hands. Okay. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists mm. did... So we have to stop them from getting him. ...away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load mm. him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, mm. being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves. Maybe not. His life hanging in the balance. That would take no. too long. The journey would mean Titan's death. Mm. And because faithful creatures would. If he was out. like half dead in the beginning, he wouldn't so make it back. What then was the plan of our They'd have coast. to heal him sooner. Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And mm. by cutting through the Velcroy. A party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. Mm, because they could. The desert is a much shorter distance. They're just not as well known for it. Drake's Fang, one of Alicia's five remaining mother crystals located in the Delmikin Republic. Unlike its sisters who jut out from the Earth to tower above the landscape, Drake's Fang is completely enclosed within the vast hollow and Aegis Mountain. Okay, so unlike the other mother crystals that are exposed. And you can see them. It's kind of hidden underground in a mountain. It's citrine fingers reaching inward to the barrel's heart. Excavation of these crystals has, over centuries, showered the Delmix with substantial fortune and as such is seen as a symbol of the nation's prosperity. To wit, it was the royalists, <laughs> not the republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life mm. on it. That makes more sense. <laughs> it didn't make sense 
to take him back that so far. So it was the Waludas who spirited the wretch away. Mm. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. I feel like it As wasn't because Titan died. Or were made to believe that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. Mm. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the royalist trail across the Velcro. But he's obviously not they actually were... dead. <laughs> <laughs> we have to kill him. He can't be dead. We didn't kill him yet. But as they say in the Republic, all mm. roads lead to Drake's fan. Mm. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have but it, his I country thinks he's Campbell dead, so they hate me even more. You here. The even more than they already did. Short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Mm. Give me a moment to make ready. Uncle's gonna die. I need to tell Calling my friends it. what we've learned and where we're going. No one have happy no, uncle join not to it, not kill him. Time waits for no man. I am no man. <laughs> Time waits for me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're gonna go in the desert. The river with the tears. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving mm. before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Nah, I'm bringing Unky. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. Then we'll go back I'm with people and destroy the Mother Crystal. <laughs> when the time Lens is right. Are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. We just want to chill for now a bit first. On the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Rosina Dalamil. The desert hare. So she's a bunny girl. Bunny girl, bunny girl, bunny girl? Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. Oh. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet. So she's at mysterious. The Inn. Bunny you girl at an inn? Nothing from her <laughs> since she died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Mm. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Most likely. So, mm. uh, what about your uncle? If we're I mean, doing well to stay, but don't look so worried. Look Dude, I think I me. should be more worried if he's coming with me. <laughs> yeah. Otto, I'm he just doesn't want to deal with my uncle. <laughs> Understandable. My uncle seems like a bit of a handful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't even know how, if I could put up with my uncle the whole time. Desert hair. An old ally of Sid's, you fell out of contact with the Resistance after his death. The Desert Hare spoke with Sid and Sid alone, leaving the other members of the hideaway with few clues as to their true identity. Only the pseudonym, the name Rosanna, and the memory that Sid met them in Talamil. Hmm. <laughs> Viera, I feel like it's probably not Viera, but that would be really cool if it was. Mmm. I know that Viera's in one of the other games, aren't they? I can't remember which one it was. All right, was, Uncle. Though. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? Mm -hmm. We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. <laughs> they're, they're, they're specifically making the uncle so lovable to kill him in whatever is coming up. I do not trust what is coming up at all. Uncle is going to fucking die so soon. Oh. <laughs> well, time to cry, probably. Time to suffer. It was 12. Okay, okay. I thought it was 12 or 8. I couldn't remember the number. <laughs> Where are the cat girls? You thought it was Final Fantasy? That's the fantasy. Cat girls aren't real in this universe. They're only a fantasy. <laughs> well, does her hair be a bunny girl or an old man? I mean, hair can mean bunny, so I'm bet on bunny girl. Last I woke this Mm. I love the music. I really like. Not far from here. Yeah, um, I don't know the, the word for it. it. When, 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 um, it's like the the type of music that, um, often is used in desert. It's used in like certain tones, 
Like, you know how our scales have seven notes? Some countries have, like, five notes or different ones, like, different types of scales. I don't know the word for it, but this is using that, and I really, really enjoy it. <laughs> I usually really like desert music in games. It just sounds so interesting and beautiful. I love the way the notes mesh together. They hit chords that you don't hear in a lot of Western music, and that's what I really like about it. Oh my god, my face. Hold on, hold on. I think I gotta turn off this effect while we're in the desert. <laughs> I'm just the sheet. I'm too pale. The sun is too powerful. I wonder how big the map is here. Oh! I gotta fight every single urge in my body to explore this whole area right now. <laughs> you guys don't understand. The completionist in me is like, how many? How many treasure chests? could be hiding behind these sand dunes. I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> but I'm oh, trying not to know. Pain. If you I forgot to buy potions. We'll quick about it. Okay. You're rubbing me blind, you know. <laughs> Worth it to stay alive. I'll be here. Welcome to the desert with God Sam. I feel like I feel like the desert actually has a lot of interesting stuff, similar to the ocean. There's a lot of different types of flora and fauna. Despite the lack of flora and fauna in the desert, there's also a lot of unique flora and fauna that can only be found in the desert. Mm. And I find that very interesting. Persian scale? Is that the term? Mm. Look at this, I like it. I like music that uses it a lot. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> Suspended pentatonic scale is also an option. Ah! That sounds familiar to me. Mm. I think that's the term I, it's a term I might have known it by. Mm. Cat people are kind of closer to Kote than is Kote. Are they Kote unique to 14 or are they in other games? Hey yo, Chokibo! Oh god, Chokibo not friendly. We must kill. <gasps> I thought it was friend! I wanted to pet it! Instead we kill bird, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna get something aggro and not kill it. it feels wrong. When, when I have the option for murder, why not murder? Yeah, exactly. It's Nuggie time. What is roasting? It's fine. Pentatonic, <laughs> 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 a little closer to Egyptian. Yeah, I can, I, I'm not very good at telling the notes apart to know which one it is. Oh my god, there's a tornado. Do you know which one the song in this uses? Does it use pentatonic or does it use the Persian scale? Hey, Hi. Wait, is that a treasure chest? You can look it up. Only if it's not a bother. I don't know if you'd find the, the like answer anywhere or not. I'm just fascinated. I really like music, which is part of why I like Final Fantasy so much. I'm a huge music lover. Mm. I, I hope there's like um, sheet music for a lot of the songs in 16 soon. Because I'd really like when I finish the game to maybe celebrate with a Final Fantasy 16 flute stream. There's a lot of different songs I heard that I think would be really fun to play on flute. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice material. If we're a joke about this game, it's all those meteors. Oh no, man. Oh, wow! I do kind of want to go inside here for a sec, though. 
There's a lot of cool stuff on the other side of it. Which I'm assuming is where I'm... I was probably supposed to go through it, but... Because <laughs> this seems to be a traveler path. I don't actually want to ride my chocobo here. I'm kind of compromising and exploring it a little bit. Um, Yes, I expect that's why there's so many soldiers in town to deal with any. I misheard that. I misheard that. He said Lord Koopka made his move. I thought he said let's cook this one and eat its meat. And I looked at the chocobo and I was like, but I just misheard. How can I miss here so badly? How do you even make that mistake? How the fuck do you even make that mistake? Yeah, the soundtrack did only recently come out. Mm. That's why I'm hoping I'll be able to do a flute stream of it soon. Um, but it'll probably be in like a month ah, or two or something. I gotta is. wait for people to transcribe some more of the songs in. first. You know, but I think with the variety of songs in it, it would be really fun. <laughs> it would be really fun to do a flute stream based on, on 16. Especially this song I'd like to play. Mm. They did represent chuckable steaks, that's true. I'm saying my mind is in the gutter, but really my mind is so hard on the music that I'm like not paying attention to anything else. <laughs> I'm loving the music. Look mm. there. Those are ashen steeds. Mm. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Luda friends must I be didn't even ride. I just walked. In the inn. Shall we join them? Born down the inn. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. He's like, I'm not a dog. I'm wolf. I'm wolf. Oh, look at him. He's going away so sad. Hope you recovered enough from music streams. I'm actually okay for flute streams. Singing, not really so much yet. I just haven't really had time to fit a flute stream in. Mm. I might end up doing one tomorrow if a VR stream doesn't work out. We'll see. I do want to do VR chat to like explore VCAT a little bit though. Uncle's doing a very bad job at like day to you. laying low. Me too? I wonder if that's the hair. <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Hmm. Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocolate <laughs> lentils and honey. I guess we are gonna eat the chocobos. An ale. Right you are. It's right. just we're not roasting honey. them as nuggies, we're having soup. Chocobo noodle. <laughs> Would you rather be my squire? Just call me uncle. <laughs> you know one attention to detail that I really like about this game? How each region, everyone from richest to peasants, has a very different, like, design for the fashions that you see. I really like that. Mm. The creators put a lot of love into designing all the different areas. You do think it's pentatonic. Okay. They are similar, yeah. <laughs> I was wondering pentatonic. Pentatonic is the one with five instead of seven, yeah? Oh, he died. Grace, it is plain you he are bleed. not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take He's like, I don't have a choice. Oh, wait, we might meet up with him again. If he's no, here. We must press on. Perfect. He's another fire dominant. An extra help to burn the place down. <laughs> I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this mm. chance, and I may never. Wait, get we're gonna also meet up with Dion here, then probably. I understand that. Hey, yo! The whole gang's gonna come together. <laughs> yes, your grace. You must at least agree to take your. Why medicine. the fuck is Joshua so pretty? I'll fetch you some water. I cannot get over how pretty he became. He's fucking gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> 
Uh, you know what? I shouldn't cosplay Jill. I should cosplay Joshua. <laughs> I should cosplay Joshua. <laughs> mm. This is healthy cough blood. Yeah, he um, he has too much iron in his body. He's um getting rid of some of it to share because I'm anemic. <laughs> I'll just lap that right up and then I won't be anemic anymore. Go me. <laughs> I like how she just gave us two giant mugs. Keep watch. Oh, that's not us. But all I see is sand. Mm. I hear they got our guest back to the fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim. Okay, so they're the ones who got Kuka. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. I'm not familiar Kuka. enough with the world ends with you, um, <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We've a long way to go. Hey, mm -hmm. you. Uh oh. They're gonna recognize me. Well, this is awkward. Uncle? Sorry. He left his sword out! Ah! What dumbass! <laughs> Dalmina, a literal oasis in the Velcroy, a desert in the western part of Dalmachia. Dalmina offers goods, food, and respite to those travelers who endure the long march through sweltering sands. In particular, the hot spring bath. Oh, we're in a hot spring. In mm. uh, fed from nearby waters, will not only ease the pains of the road, but are also rumored to cure all manners of ills, from boils to boo boo boobos. What's a bo what's a boobo? Boobo. Boobo. Oh, it's bubonic plague! Oh. I don't know how I didn't know what that is. <laughs> to the various um, afflictions to the groin. Oh, various afflictions to the groin. Are they saying that... Are they saying these hot springs cure STIs? Because I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Many of which are like to be contracted. Many... Contracted at one of Delga's many brothels in his STIs. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you go in the hot spring. Hold up. Okay. So you go in the hot spring, in the water, where your bodily fluids mix with other people in the hot spring, and somehow that cures your STI instead of giving it to more people. Naruhodo, I see. I was misled my whole life. <laughs> That's not how I thought STIs worked. I had no idea. Wow, I'm learning. <laughs> ah, fuck. She's gonna run and get Joshua. Can you walk, Your Grace? She's like, we gotta go. I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Mm. She would know that was Clive, right? You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Look, but we're travelers. We also don't know our way. We've got business in camera that can't wait. Oh, Uncle's uh, hyperventilating. Sure. He's scared. Spells an hour or two. Come on, come on. Friend. Uncle's scared. <laughs> He's stress eating. That's me. If I'm about to die, I'm gonna eat all the bread first. I'm not gonna leave a single bit of the bread, man. I'm gonna eat all of it. Fuck that. I ain't dying on no empty stomach. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't have a moment to lose. Friend. Oh, flip the table! Hell yeah! Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. She just literally ate all the food and ran. <laughs> That'll be me. 
He's like, I forgot some. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Let's try to slay the enemies real quick. Oh. Try it. Bravo, my boy. Yeah, you literally ate the food and booked it. <laughs> okay. Continues to be best boy. There we go. That was easy. That was so easy. <laughs> that was so easy. Hell yeah. And now we gotta run, because I don't think the inn is gonna take too kindly to us murdering people inside of it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get kicked out. He's just eating, watching. I feel like she is the hair. I feel like she definitely is. Is he drunk? Dark Sea, thank you for the super. Want a quick shout out to your Uncle Julio? He drinks beer at night. Is, is he actually this guy? Are you sure this is not your uncle? <laughs> yeah, some tables break and some are indestructible. It's pretty great. <gasps> Maybe they're made of different types of wood. You know, oh, yeah, all. but you <laughs> get that money. Someone used photo mode in battle and they got a screenshot of Byron just eating and watching. That's beautiful. <laughs> Incredible. Your grace. Is he okay? I feel like my eyes are actually a really good color to cosplay Joshua. Look in my eyes. I have the Joshua eyes. I think I could do a pretty good job of pulling him off. Just grunt. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, another feather. Clive? It's like my bro. My bro. I must find you, bro. Too late. He always slips away, just in time to miss him. Mm. I feel like Joshua's kind of avoiding him though, to be honest. I don't think he wants to run into him right now. It doesn't seem to be a coincidence that he always just misses him. What is it now? That's such a fun way to make it known it was him, because didn't Joshua always hate carrots? <laughs> Such a tiny little it's detail. Nothing. I fucking Let's love go. that. Mmm. In the beginning, didn't he like not eat his carrots? Yeah, it's a good touch. I love attention to detail like that with small things. Ah, oh, Twiggles running around making friends. Cute. Twenty-eight. He still doesn't like carrots. Is that how old he is now? I'm really bad at keeping track of ages. I was trying to figure out how old he is. <laughs> Where are you? Well, we didn't know mm -hmm. where to find Kupka before. We do now. Mm -hmm. The rulers said to themselves. Oh, this is so cool! Getting to explore the city. It's so vibrant. I actually want to explore this place a tiny bit. It looks really nice. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Mm. If good, sir. I feel like there's definitely it's some good hidden treasure chests around here. Oh my gosh! There's so much here! Holy moly! Okay, which... Let's start at the top. Why is the tavern shut? I feel like this city's probably gonna have some really fun, like small hidden conversations, especially 
<laughs> Especially since they said there's like a bathhouse and brothels and stuff. Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush. Yes, yeah, it's just a hitting on this lady. Oh, no. I have to dodge the text. That was the whole conversation. We'll never know what happens. I need to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine cactar needles imported from across the sea. Just pick one prick and your little sparrow will sink. <laughs> and people just chilling. Fucking women of the wrong. Anytime they pull their snouts out of Kukush trough is when they want to lord it over us. Oh, there's some treasure. <gasps> huh. Mm -hmm. I actually used to dislike peas too. But a then it turned war. out I don't actually dislike peas. I just don't like frozen, or I don't like canned empire, peas. Frozen now, okay. But only if they're cooked on the stove. They if they're microwaved, they might as well be garbage. But if they're cooked in a pot, they can taste pretty good. Your arms are like mm. iron. Are all your muscles so hard? Mm. Well, I'd be happy to show you. Provided I can afford it. Oh. I feel like I shouldn't have heard that. I feel like I shouldn't have heard that. <gasps> Made from the stoutest stoneware. Won't ship, won't crack, no matter how rocky the road. This is a fun town. This is a good place. <laughs> Holy shit! Is it the same person? Oh damn, look at them. Look at them. Oh yeah. This is the town of romance. <laughs> I'm seeing more action here than I saw at the actual brothel earlier. Damn. Oh, I ended up down here. The place isn't as big as I thought then if I ended up all the way down here. Let's see. Okay, that goes back up. Let's explore down first. Then. For some reason, I thought this map was a lot bigger. How about a hot bath to soothe the aches and pains of the road? Oh, please. After that jacuzzi stream that I did, I have been craving another jacuzzi. I just want a hot, comfy Look, bath. Hot water. Maybe they used the fucking kettle. Yeah! It's the actual hot spring, actually. The ground heats it. Mm, another kind of caramelized onions? I actually didn't think I would like them, but I love them, man. They taste pretty good in burgers. And stir fry. You get pet. You get pet. You get boy. Yeah! Yeah! Baby. This town is truly blessed. Oh, carrots cooking Bussing maple syrup is really good. Yeah, waters. but yeah, you're right. It kind of, it kind of defeats the healthy. <laughs> but it's good. Oh shit! This is where I was supposed to go. Shit! Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We're gonna turn around. Uh, they've closed the road, mm. and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would mm -hmm. seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. Oof. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted mm -hmm. quite enough unwanted attention already. Mm -hmm. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dallaville, mm. woman of, of mystery. mystery. <laughs> we gotta find her. I bet it was the woman from the inn. We know naught of her but her name. Mm. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's mm -hmm. other collaborators have all been people of means. Can't we just show her like some of Sid's icons of that we have? I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. Or like that would certainly help to narrow the Without search. Remu's powers. <laughs> we need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. Mm. And that's exactly what I mean. Lime to and do. salt, like I think I'll be good on green beans, yeah. I I like um pepper on Looks green like beans. Mm. Okay, we we're by. <laughs> I wanna go explore! Hope you have a good time at work! Your arms are like iron. Oh, there it is. Are all your muscles so hard. It was then we had that conversation. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so that way it goes back over there. So we don't want to go that way right now. I do kind of wish you could walk um, while looking at the map, like have it in the corner. I feel like that would be really, really helpful to me. Mm. It would make us finest fabrics. Because sometimes I want to see if there's like something to um, explore, but it's hard to know if I've already been there. Found raw carrots and ketchup was good. Oh god, that sounds such <laughs> some nightmare fuel to me. If anything's done, <sighs> it's the lash. Uh the... Trying to think, what's my I think my favorite way to eat carrots is roasted with like a little bit of soy sauce and honey and either sesame or olive oil. Mmm. It's good. I think this is the Why problem, but like we can't go in right now. A mess of blood oh, it's in. thanks to you. <laughs> At least you can do is let us clean up in peace. Okay, I, I guess. Guard those soldiers started it. I guess. Uh, I guess she's not here. That's okay. <sighs> Hello, Tom Tom. Okay, maybe we should just go where we're supposed to. I think we've explored mostly everything. Hmm. You're pretending. No. Ew! <gasps> I've heard of people eating them raw like an apple. I it's just, just. I always never now? understand how or why. I mean, I guess if it's good, I just can't see it being good. <laughs> I know my tastes, my taste buds oh, would not be very thrilled with me if I did that. <laughs> but it is what it is. I just chomp them like Shrek. Yeah, I agree. Carrots have a pretty mild taste. I think most people who don't like carrots probably don't like the texture. Mm. Which I can kind of understand if you eat frozen carrots. Frozen carrots, the texture is totally ruined. Fucking it turns into like off. rubber. A lot of vegetables get pretty wrecked, actually. Oh, hey, Dobby! Hey, Dobby! I can't pet this dog. It's disappointing. Look at him! He's pawing the ground. He's like, give me pets. Give me pets. Give, give, pets. give me pets. And I'm not allowed! Worst game. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I feel like I feel like a lot of people um who don't like certain vegetables, it's because they've eaten them frozen, and some Anything vegetables are just not good after you freeze them. Allow me. Some are okay. Mm. My good man. But carrots do not the freeze them. And greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region. And would Broccoli is pretty okay frozen if you steam it lightly, but if you overcook it, it's nasty <laughs> as well. Where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. Mm -hmm. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. I think I've already been to all of Thank those. <laughs> most true, bread most is healthy. just raw toast. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name Why would you eat bread when Rosina you can have it slightly Gunnan, crispy? Would you? No. This being so I'm obvious. Sure <laughs> well, thank you. Bro yes! Ryan Glaser, you know what's up? Broccolini is fucking delicious. It's so good. Roasted in like olive oil with a bit of salt. Mmm. Mmm. I don't like raw broccoli though. It upsets my stomach. Busy. Oh, cauliflower oh, also freezes pretty well. I'm looking for something. Cauliflower is a lot more a versatile than I used Rosina to think Dalo. it was. I really like it in you know curry. Never heard of it. And I like it Dalo. roasted. Mm. No more There's a lot of really good ways to eat if cauliflower. I to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's mm. easy. The Briar's Kiss. Don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Mm. There's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. He the says why not her. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I doubt this young Broccoli casserole. What would be in we that? I'm Sid's curious. Sounds kind of good. Influential sort. I sometimes make like a curry casserole that has broccoli and ground meat and stuff. 
Hmm. I wonder what I can get at this store. Good day, my lord. Steamed broccoli and cauliflower with mayo. I don't really do mayo, but steamed cauliflower and broccoli is so good. <laughs> I just need it plain with a bit of salt. I think... Oh, I already have it. Ooh. My thanks. A lot of this is stuff I already have. Fare you well. Let's see. There we go. Broccoli and Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers are good. Ritz crackers are really good. <laughs> Do you guys, you guys know like Girl Guide cookies? Like the ones that are like mint chocolate wafers and stuff, right? There's a trick. If you want Girl Guide cookies without having to pay the stupidly high prices or waiting for someone to come to your Mommy, door and try to sell them. Have you guys heard of How many times do I have to tell you? You can it's literally melt baker's chocolate um, with some mint extract in it and put it on Ritz crackers and it basically tastes yes, the same. <laughs> but you can have Christina so much Gallimore. of it. A pillar of your it's really good. I believe from old trading stock. I used to not be then able to handle cauliflower, but it's grown on me a lot recently. Years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And mm. he's in with all the old merchant families. Mm. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. So maybe the hair is not a bunny girl. <laughs> well, it sounds like we have our man. Mm -hmm. I guess I guess it's not a money. Let's girl. go and find out exactly what this photo knows. A little disappointing. <laughs> See you, Ramses. Spinach me. is overhated. I agree. I love spinach. I have it for I breakfast am. every day in smoothies. I and I'll usually, if I have a salad so. instead of lettuce, it's usually spinach. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? I also like it in soup. You know I like it in stir fry. I, believe she I love spinach. Of and what business baby spinach do you tends to be um hair? less she was a close friend of mine flavorful for people who don't like the taste might be able to help me very well go to the bordello i'll arrange an introduction oh it is it is a baby a bunny girl still we just so have you, think you know someone who's gonna him? get us in as far help as us I meet think. this bunny girl So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Ah, fuck. I beg your pardon. <gasps> Don't play the fool. This ain't a meeting. Stick your nose in our business and you <laughs> need to lose it. This ain't a meeting. I've been set up. I've been set up. Fuck you, random hooded man. This, this was not our deal. This was absolutely not our deal. You were going to introduce me to the bunny girl. <laughs> not murderers. I guess um, we didn't, you know, we didn't do a very good job of laying low, and they realized what we were trying to do, so they're like, "We gotta kill him! We gotta kill him! We can't let them find the bunny girl. We gotta kill him." So unfortunate. Such tragedy. Such circumstance that I have to kill them all. Because they thought they could kill me. <laughs> no one can kill me. <laughs> hmm. mm -hmm. There we go. Your mom makes a dish that's eggplant, saffron, and pine nuts. <gasps> that sounds so good. I've never had saffron, though. I actually don't know what it is. I know it's like a spice or something, but I've never had it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Who are you working for? Him or her? Mm. Depending on your answer, I might kill you. Him. <laughs> the boss. He wanted us to test you. Mm. No one could hardly call that a test. Yeah, that wasn't a test. Like, I, I guess I should have murdered them the maybe then. <laughs> You're skilled with a blade if they were just trying to test me and I killed them dead, maybe that was a bit much. For an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty. That's a decision to make. Mm. Our work is done. 
Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. As I am very interested in making her acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. Ooh, that's not, that sounds like a place a bunny girl would be. To the lock of <laughs> Let's go! What kind of leisure are we talking? <laughs> this game has so many brothels. I'm just, I'm just bouncing around. We're brothel hopping, damn. <laughs> I never, I never thought this game would be brothel hopping, but here we are. You gotta hit them all up. We're gonna visit every brothel. We're gonna start collecting stamp cards. Is this the place? This looks more like weapons. Who was forged? <laughs> the Briar's Kiss. Kiss of death with these uh, weapons. So it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. He wanted a mommy. Oh, <laughs> it was an easy mistake uh, to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years oh, since I saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this lube or true. Exactly, bar hopping is underrated. Brothel hopping. Means. That's the that's the new thing. I'd say he deserves <laughs> our respect. Mm-hmm. See that he gets it. Mm -hmm. Lubo, Lord Ferda told mm. me to bring them to you. I guess it ain't a bunny girl then. That's a bit disappointing. Some kid. <laughs> my boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Oh my god, he's gorgeous! Sid the second. The way they drew his eyes! I won't waste the shading time. is so nice. Only passage through the south gate. <laughs> his personality! Hold on, let me pause this. I gotta tell you guys what I mean by this. His personality is so fun. I can already tell there's so much like energy and like sass put in his acting. Just with his posture and his poses. I'm loving his character already in the same way that I really liked Benedicta. This is another good example of physicality adding so much to a character that text alone can never do. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by that. Just like so, so much personality in the body language and the way they move and you can't convey all of that in just voice alone. And that's what I like this. He's one of your favorite side characters. He seems really fun. Okay, Forge Master of Briar's Kiss, the finest smithy in Dalamil. Lumbar is also the Desert Hare, an ally of Sids, once went by the name of Rosanna Dalamil. Uh, like, just sitting, I'm sitting there with his cross legs. Like, look at this posture! It's a merchant's most important commodity. Why trust? Everyone knows. Oh, God, that. I love him. Without it, you have nothing. I love the animation and so much. Is exactly he looks that. like such a smug and bastard. So you, I do have nothing. I'm not in the business. Yeah, of he's breathing charisma. That wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. I'm relaxing, bro. <laughs> Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means, find someone else to help you on your way. Yeah, he's literally just personified just charisma. Be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. This is the type of person I love in games and I probably hate in real life. <laughs> this much sass, I'd want to punch him, but in games, I love it. <laughs> so, mm. what do we need to do to earn your trust? Mm. Yeah, he knows they need him. He does not need them. <laughs> so he's going to make them pay one. up. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. I like how he's talking and that like way to you, Sid. Damn. A special place in my heart. <laughs> he is such a good I character. Because they get me what I want. Oh yes, I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> he's gonna. He's like, I'll help you because Fine. I know you'll get what I want. So <laughs> 
Don't tell me you're gonna listen to this swaggering swaggering scrub. <laughs> well That's a good way to describe him. It's only natural. It's just a swaggering yes, assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five mm. years ago, he would have still been a boy. Mm. And yet, even then, I had more good sense than a man. Oh, five times my age. But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Oh, good, because that was on my Turn agenda me, anyway. So, <laughs> have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. Mm. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them. Damn you! The trouble you know that and we caused. <laughs> One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. <laughs> Here in the A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Mm. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making so this too easy for you. So we gotta you. follow the bearers. Not the bearers. The people with crystals ah, doing stuff. It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Mm. Let us divide our forces. I like the banter between him and Byron. <laughs> parlor game on any longer than we need to. All right. Good luck, Uncle. It's like good luck maintaining your sanity. <laughs> he is amazing but irritating. So it's some of my favorite tropes. People that make me love to hate them. I I love. I live for people who make me love to hate them. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. Let's talk to the courtesans. What can I do for you, soldier? Mm. Need that sword polishing. I'm. If she's Not a quarter a, a courtesan, she um, might have meant something else by that. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. Damn. Do you have an agreement with them? Mm. Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. Damn! Pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just harsh with you. Before you scare them off. She did mean something else from that based on what she said. <laughs> Well, that was useless. She did nothing to help us. It's like a sniff, good sir. Sniffer, sniffer, sniffer. Makes sense that Sid would not <laughs> tell people who the hair was since he was a child. Yeah, he wouldn't tell people to protect him, right? Mm, he wanted to protect the kids so no one would bother him. Excuse me. Is it true that he's been in with crystals of late? You've heard, then. Mm. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Damn. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. I wonder if it's, them. um... They aren't if sharing. it's Koopka's people that are taking them. Mm. Some people with similar personalities don't get along better than oil and water. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> God, I fucking love the OST here. What is this one? For the best drop in Dalamil, visit the final sting. There must be the bar. It's kind of fun name for a bar. The final sting. <laughs> Look at Mac Ramsey is. Surely the stable hand will help us. <gasps> Depend what for. Just mm. a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, that's also a terrifying well, there name a for from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the mother crystal in the shipments mm. need a place to spend their hard earned. Honestly, I agree. The this entire town is so beautiful. Like no I've been staring at everything while so I walk around. It's so nice. Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. It's probably my favorite location in the entire I game think so I'm far. I'm starting to get an idea of what's mm. been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. Maybe the other one that I can't find is up higher? What was all that oh. crashing and banging about? <laughs> Maybe it's just her. It's you. I'm surprised she's willing to even talk furniture. to me. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Mm. 
But what? Thank you. So what's you doing? I'll go and fetch him. What was that, boss? But what? Uncle? Uncle, what are you doing? Uncle, uncle, what are you doing? Uncle? Uncle? Where is he? <laughs> oh no. I don't want to walk in on my uncle in a brothel. <laughs> okay, oh! Uh -oh. Will this suffice as a deposit? Deposit for what? That's a black pearl. Now he's One hogging the fun. One of the many treasures <laughs> in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with. I'm the opposite, Corvus. I've always really liked desert so. locations. All right. Mm. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. Wait. What are you doing, Uncle? <laughs> Something he shouldn't be doing, probably. I like how these kids are just like sitting on the roof. I'd be too afraid of dying. <laughs> I don't think I could sit on a roof. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Mm. Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do mm. believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. Uncle knows how to get things done! It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion <laughs> just happened to attract the attention <laughs> indiscretion, of those my ass. ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I mm. proved I could pay for it. Except they so just the want to steal his money, probably. Proof. <laughs> mm. I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch five hundred thousand or so. It's probably hard to get money around here. See you guys tonight. Underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? Not much. Of... I failed. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Crystal. One of the most valuable materials known to mankind. Exists ability to channel on the ether from the air, allowing those without an innate power to do so to cast magics. And as most Valisthians cannot live without magic, its supply and distribution is heavily regulated by governments across the twins. A given shard can only channel a certain amount of ether before it shatters, so the need for new crystals is incessant. Right. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Hmm. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all They're over just the buying them all up. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals hmm. meant for elsewhere. Hmm. And pocketing the profits. Hmm. Hmm. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And fuck them and up. put an end to the <laughs> trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Poppinjay thought this would be... Preening Poppinjay. <laughs> Can we appreciate Uncle's insults? They're always so entertaining. Never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk <laughs> off his insults. face. <laughs> I arranged to meet with the soldiers in oh, the okay. corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. Where's? Where am I going for the plot right now? God, this desert's so big. Holy shit, it's so big. <laughs> uh, I trust I can count on your support. I probably have to go sour. down, at least. <laughs> of course. Mm. I'm going to need to learn how to... <laughs> I'm just not at the eavesdrop without being obvious. I think he was trying to be obvious in this case, though, to get them Fucking to come to him. <laughs> In which case, he did a good job, I suppose. Yeah, the desert is so big! Oh my god, the lake is gorgeous. I can see where you mean. Honestly, it looks it looks like a lot of really nice tropical lakes. Where you can just see all the beautiful different colors in the water. Mm. God, it's nice. I appreciate good water in any game. About this. You can't swim in the game, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm trying to find a way over there. 
then you have to go to the other side of town. Mm. They did a really good job of making the oasis in the desert beautiful. <laughs> I've always wanted to visit a desert oasis. Just like, I don't think, I don't, have I, I've been to like major cities near deserts, but I've never been to like a desert. Not really. I don't think. I was close to a desert once, but I never actually went to a desert. I think the closest I've been would be like Dallas, but I don't think that really counts in the city as a desert or anything. Mm. I was always, I've always just wanted to see an oasis in person. So I feel like they'd be really pretty. How the fuck do I get there? Go to Vegas? <laughs> but they, even then, it's like the city itself. I mean, I'd rather go to like a town. A town in a desert. Like a small, a small place. Not necessarily like this, like modern is okay. But like, small. Mm. If you, I can see why, like, you might not like deserts as much if you live in one. Mm. Cause if you live in a desert, like, that's what you're used to. And there's a lot of downsides of being in a desert. Mm. Like, I feel like a desert is a cool type of place to visit, but living in one would be very difficult. Cause it's both, you know, it's not... Despite stereotypes, deserts are not always hot. <laughs> they can go from very hot in the day to very, very cold at night. And that's a lot to deal with every single day. And I feel like people who don't know that um, probably underestimate how difficult it is to actually like, be there. <laughs> mm. Depends hot or because of the cold desert. I mean, a lot of deserts are both. Like, if you even a sandy desert like this that looks really hot, in the, in the night, this would be fucking freezing. Mm. Desert also just means a place that lacks water. Yeah, Antarctica would technically be a, de a desert. Hmm. There's lots of different types of deserts. They're not all sandy. There's, like, rocky deserts. I just am curious about... Like seeing an oasis. Nick Richard, thank you for subscribing! Because I feel like it would be a really cool experience after traveling through a desert coming across an oasis. Like, not necessarily on foot, like on car or something is fine. <laughs> something where I can have air conditioning and look after myself. Just after seeing all the sand and cliffs or like rocks and cliffs or ice and cliffs and then finding this like a beautiful area, I feel like that would be so cool. Mm. Yeah, it does a lot of. I think most deserts are dusty. Whether it's like mud dust or sand dust, I feel like dusty is probably common. Mm. Yeah, it's basically a huge barren land made of nothing I'll but rocks. Take it from here. Big and little. <laughs> but Oasis tends to have water and plants and stuff. Mm. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. Mm. You've brought your contribution? Yeah. All the A silver and head. stones I could scrape together mm. at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? Oh, take an eater. If you've no Byron is pretty fun. I'd like to <laughs> see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, mm. my lord. Death God, thank you for subscribing! Oh, they have a lot. Damn. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it would be? Some sand can be really smooth. I was at a sand because a beach in Japan that was no sandy and the, it the sand was so smooth. It felt so us. good to walk on. You're buying from them. Mm. And oh. we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But oh. we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? 
What brings I never here? would have predicted. Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they mm. are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. Mm. And uh, being such Or are you friends, paying them because they rescued your Titan bro? Portion and share the benefits. And mm. now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere. No matter where they might happen to end up next. Mm. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem... You just yelled it. My lord! <laughs> What is the meaning of this? He just outed and then he was spying. Dogs. Yeah. Not here to do business. No, Give you guys are just stupid. <laughs> you think they would have been a little more intelligent than to just like, you know, out there and hire illegal business to like some randos they just met. Alas. They're very stupid. <laughs> Yeah! It's like, um, ice or glass. I actually remember when I first discovered that glass was made out of sand. I never would have thought. I remember as a kid being so surprised. I was just like, I could not fathom the idea that it was made out of... Oh, that's my uncle. <laughs> I could not fathom the idea that it was made out of sand. Because to me, glass is such a sturdy thing. And sand is something that's like so many tiny pieces. But I guess that it also makes sense why glass shatters so easily. You know? Wait. Because it just kind of breaks back into like all the little pieces and stuff. You learn from Minecraft! <laughs> Minecraft teaching children. Mm hmm. That's true. I still stealth if everyone who saw you is dead, because then there's no witnesses, so no well, one saw you, technically. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> At least That's on the records. That's my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't no, you? No, you made it so Crazy. obvious, bro. You are magnificent. The battle <laughs> is particularly thrilling. I like how he was just that chilling and watching. I have more of an audience, but... Perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? He's like the long whole time. to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. <laughs> I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Like, I love how they were like hating each other, but generous. now they're like besties almost. <laughs> this was the trouble you spoke of. Can't believe uncle's a DJ. That's why we like him so much. Conspiring with the royalists. Well. Now it's over. Indeed it is. Mm. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kuka's men, let alone a foreign army. Mm -hmm. Until you two came along, that is. And changed everything. I like how they have particles well, of sand and stuff in the air. It's a nice touch. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. I don't feel like many games would do that for a desert. Looks really nice. Adds some ambience. To the Fire Nation. Am I technically the Fire Nation? Because I am like the leader of my area and I am fire. <laughs> Hmm, almost full. Where does it say? Okay. Though the penalties for illicit trade on crystal are severe, with demand far out spring supply, many still dabble in the black market. Okay. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Kind of hoping for another so, boss fight. I think we're going to save before the next boss fight, because I think the next boss fight is um, Titan so again, right? And I don't think we're going to be able to get quite there. I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive. He hates my you name. Held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the south gate, was it not? Mm. To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. Oh damn! Hello, Minato. Behind have been in 
courage to look the other way should you attempt to pass. Perfect. Them. Bribery Thank always you. works. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers I trust. Mm. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. He's like, please give me oh, my money back. Dear. <laughs> really so He's like, like I already spent it, sorry. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. Wasn't Greybeard the guy he used Thank to like play as with Clive? Greybeard. <laughs> that was on purpose. Here, I love him. Wear this. I love the sassy lost child. <laughs> it's such a shame that he's probably such a small character that he's never gonna be in the game again after this because he is so fun. With it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please. Feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Mm. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. <laughs> with that wording, goddamn. <laughs> sure, I guess I'll tell them that. They might have some questions, but okay. Especially Jill might have some questions, but okay. <laughs> The banter does rival Clive and Sid's. I've been missing this type of shit. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? I like how he wants so to use the real sure name, although I kind of feel like he's doing that because he doesn't acknowledge me as Sid yet. <laughs> but I still like it. I feel like he sees me more as a person than just a replacement. Hmm. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Are you? Complete! Nice, nice, nice. It's a very chill section, but it was kind of fun. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just need a fun little chill section. I have a question, um, if anyone that's still here, um, would know. Um, is it a good spot to stop now before Titan? Or would it be good to make a bit more progress and get a little closer? Uh, I'm just trying to think of what would be... Like, I can play a little bit longer. I'm just trying to figure out what would be the most ideal place to take a break. Wait. I need to... Oh! I'm still here. You have plenty of time? <laughs> okay. Uh... So you think... Mm, I see people saying you have plenty of time, but I also see now, now might be good. Is there a place coming up soon that would be a good place to stop? Like, do I have more chill stuff? More chill stuff that I can do beforehand? I don't want to... I don't want to, like, get started on... I didn't know I could do... I didn't know I could... I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> I don't want to get, like, right up to it. But I don't mind doing some more of the, like, um, show main quest stuff. I just don't want to, like... I need to drink. I don't want to get right up to the battle and have cutscenes start, if that makes sense. If you can't even... ah, they've opened the gate. Uh, that's basically, in a nutshell, I just don't want Lubo to do the, like, really quiet. important stuff. I'm not gonna do the side quest. Unless it's a side quest with a plus sign, I'm not gonna do them. Um, for the simple reason of, um, it's just a very long game, and if I want to finish it on stream, I have to ignore them. Because, like, I don't, I'm not a Final Fantasy exclusive streamer. I do a lot of different things, and if I want, if I want to have the best possibility to, like, finish the game, <laughs> I have to kind of ignore them. I thought I needed to go up, but maybe I actually have to go really far down. Okay. Oh, what I'm hearing. The men of the rock. Let's see. Mmm. See you, Dickman's Tunes! 
wrap it up um, with a bit of a cutscene that's ahead. Okay, so there's a good spot up ahead that I can do first. Go way back to the fire. A chill cutscene coming we up. Should get going soon. Because that's what I was thinking. I'd like ah, to do a little more. Not too late. Um, if there's like some more what chill stuff. Just let me know when I get where you think is good, Kaysops. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. Mm. To finish Hugo Koopa. He's flat out open, like, I'm a kill Koopa. Just as I thought. <laughs> then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. I already figured that out Tomeki with things. and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before mm. allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not mm. by choice, at least. And there's more. I'm well, I was always frowning. The whole game is just like... Days. I fear there may be more trouble lying I'm in wait for you on the road speed. ahead. <laughs> My life sucks. Isn't there always? <laughs> if you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines where the guard mm. is lightest. Good intel. Clive has like the worst I've resting bitch face I've ever already. seen for a man. If I lose another, <laughs> people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Mm. Not before Koopka does anyway. Well, mm. so long as you have a plan. That's true. A lot of stressful shit has happened to him. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Was that the cutscene that you meant, or a bit more? Drake's Fang. This should open up more than that. Ah, oh, there we go. Be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Mm. Come on, Wait. girl. The gate's open now. Is there a treasure or something? Wait. Startled me with how fast I jumped up. There's another one ahead. Okay, so the one ahead would be a good, a uh, good um, breaking point. It seems. Okay. Because I kind of want to jump right into. Um, you know where we're doing some really chill stuff right now. Like the chill stuff is great. Um, but for the beginning of a stream, I feel like jumping. Not even necessarily into the action. Just more like. Like, this doesn't feel important, even if it was a very enjoyable section for me. Jumping into something that feels a bit more important, I think, would be nice. Because then it's a little more like an episode, where it all runs together. Like, right now, if we started a stream at this, I think it might it might bore people at the beginning. <laughs> We're just like, this game is a whole lot of nothing. And what am I supposed to tell them? Like, yeah. <laughs> If this is your first impression, it sure is. What is this place? Oh, this is so This cool. is the spring which provides the water for the Dalamil Inn's famous healing baths. I wouldn't mind having a dip myself. Yeah, it's like desert I walking agree, simulator. More pressing matters to attend to, of course. And I feel like starting um the entire desert section honestly was like super chill. And I liked it. But it's not necessarily the best for me. I can't hit any of these guys. So I'm gonna ignore them. They're too high for me to fight. Mm -mm. See if there's anything cool down here. Yeah! It's been a really good environment. I, that's kind of why I wanted to explore a little bit more. Mm. Because I feel like, I feel like this section is the type of thing you either... Wait, I guess I have to fight them before I get that. Okay. This section is the type of thing you either like or you don't in, um, in video games. And it's okay. That's not for everyone. But I really enjoy chill sections like this. So it's kind of better to do the chill sections like this at the end rather than the beginning. Just start, stop before you start the dungeon. I think the dungeon will pop up on your world map when it's time to start. We might stop a little bit before we get to the dungeon, depending. Mm. But as long as there's still more chill stuff, I wouldn't mind like another 30 minutes or so. God, this is poor 
gorgeous. Oh, I'd love to explore this spot in real life. The stuff Uncle said really did make this section great. It was a fun section for sure. I'm glad I took my time with it. Mm. We're like an hour away from the major section. We'll probably stop a little before it then. I don't know if I want to go another whole hour. But that's fine. So it'll give us a little bit of time to warm up before we jump into it. But not as much as if I stop right now, you know? I just have to wake up early for important CEO business, so I don't want to stay up too late. I'm assuming the major section is Attack on Titan, the final season. <laughs> Which will be really fun. I'm assuming the next stream is going to be really, really good. And really, based on how intense the game is, it's really just going to get better every time if they can keep it up, isn't it? <laughs> Curious, how far would you guys say I am in the game at this point? Mm. Like percentage wise. How far would you say I am roughly? Next stream wanna crank up the music? <sighs> It'll be nice if it plays um under the weight, but I'm assuming it wouldn't do that. <laughs> but that would be fun. 40? Not even half? Damn. All these streams and not even half. <laughs> is Drake's Fang. Why do you hate that man? Why, why would anyone not hate that man? <laughs> Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Mm. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert. Yeah, that is a long you game. That's why I was worried about, about getting into it beyond day region. one, but. <laughs> so be careful. Seven more streams! I don't know if I can do seven more. We'll see. <laughs> I'd like to, but that's a big commitment. That's like taking me into fall. Before you go, <laughs> I, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. Mm. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine. In the hope it would bring me favor. Unfortunately, uh, it did not. But you tried. <laughs> Territorialization of Zarya. Oh yeah, this would be an interesting one. In the year 861, taking advantage of the discord arising from Rosaria's internal woes in the wake of the Night of Flames, the Iron Blood launched an attack that inflicted devastating losses on an already crippled nation, robbing it of what little power remained. Later that same year, Sunbreak stepped in and forced the once proud duchy to submit to one final humiliation by becoming a vassal state of the Empire, just as Duchess Annabella and her Imperial conspirators had planned. Mm. Seven to eight more streams is hard I for me though, because I only play it like once a week. Skin. So that's like I two months. <laughs> I don't know if people will be interested enough I'm to stick sorry. around for two months. Uncle, please. But I also don't want to do it more than it's once a week because some people Chloe. don't like it, you know? Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Mm. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already Aww. have done so. But that Uncle, ship has sailed. you've already done you, so much. However, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. Hmm. A better world. Hmm. Where men can live and die on their own terms. Hmm. Oh, don't see me in there. I should tell you the percentage. Yeah, I'll check that after stream. <laughs> I don't want to check it on stream. Strove to improve the plight of bearers. Hmm. Later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, mm. but was kindled by my father. You would see me oh, crying. And that is exactly what I mean to do. 
Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Hmm. Though every soul Plus, in the we'll be protecting people from the Mother heresy. Crystals. Because they're destroying everything. You really are just like him, you know. Oh, Uncle. I wonder if there's more info on my dad. Yeah! Late Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, Elvin's reign ended when he was beheaded by servants of the Holy Empire of Sandbrake in their ignoble attack on Phoenix Gate. Known not only for inspiring leadership and skills with the blade, but his disapproval of the mistreatment of bearers, his legacy lives on in all those who oppose imperial rule and what remains of Rosaria. Hmm. Unfair. Person with the power. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy, guys, guess what I want to do on Monday for anyone who missed it? How do you guys feel about maybe starting Heaven's Ward on Monday? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's been a while coming. I think, I think it might be. It might be fun to jump into Heaven's Ward a bit. <laughs> Uh, through their power, though their powers did not begin to approach those of Almighty Dominance, they too suffer from the Crystal's curse, gradually turning to, to, to stone over a lifetime of channeling ether for others. Mm. I've had a lot of people, um, you need to finish the realm reward. Shut up, I did! <laughs> you were there when I finished it! I did! Hmm. <laughs> I've had a lot of people compare the plot of this game to the Theals in Heaven's Clive Ward, and that made me excited. Me. <laughs> I am proud to call oh, you nephew. I'm gonna cry of happiness. Uncle's dying soon. Uncle's Brother, not surviving this, this arc. Where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable. Talents. We never see Uncle again. I mean to plunder his coffers. Lost save data start over again from the wrong reform. I graduate. I don't wanna I don't wanna stream anymore. Well <laughs> Bye -bye. I'm done. I'm so done. Then. I lost my file, I'm out by. <laughs> I'll graduate from fourteen and only and play you, sixteen from now on. Nephew. <laughs> we have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regret. Yeah, he's raising every red flag, I don't like it. When next we meet. <laughs> Just like Benedict and you Sid the fucking did. Too, the game makes me love him, so obviously he needs to die next. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Mm. This game really wants it really makes me want to get into seven. I've always wanted to play the remake of Seven, but I never got around to it. I'm assuming that's the spot that you thought would be good to say that, maybe? Hmm, was that it? Yeah, you did pet the dog too, he's fucking dead. <laughs> I need to keep going a little bit. Um, unless I can maybe save if I go to one of these places. No? There's another cutscene that'll be a good place to save at? Hmm. You heard the remake? It's really good. It looks really beautiful. I really want to play it. Do you ever put a seventh one you need to skip Stormblood? I feel like I'd rather play it. <laughs> okay, so there's another one. Okay, so I should keep going for now. Got it. So, that was the one you were thinking of. Okay. Uh. So, in my, so you think it'd be a good idea? Because that, that did seem, that scene had a lot of finality to it. I feel like that's not necessarily, yeah, that's what I kind of want to do. That's why I was wondering, because um, the next part comes out for seven next year, right? If I finish this game, and if I get used to having a slot for Final Fantasy every week, I kind of wonder um, if I could kind of replace this weekly time with like seven. <laughs> and then I could catch up with seven. Because I've always wanted to play it, you know? The original 7 was one of the greatest of all time. And the new one's even prettier, so I kind of feel like I need to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Okay. 
So if this is a good place to save, I'm gonna. That I feel like that scene did have a lot of finality, and after that scene, we're kind of going on our own journey, and we're heading towards Titan, right? So like, even if there's a little more BS on the way there, um, it's going to be. Like, if I jump back into it, people are going to know I'm almost there and I'm on the way to Titan. So it's probably an, an okay spot to stop, I think. Especially where I have I have to wake up early for important CEO business. <laughs> people are definitely going to know. Okay, I feel like with Uncle Parting, it's a good spot to maybe split Attack on Titan Season 1 into Attack on Titan Season 2. <laughs> well, that's probably fine. Mm. Aww. I'll probably get you guys to help me with a thumbnail that's not to be spoilery again. That was really helpful. Um, That being said, I might just make an Attack on Titan meme and put his face on at Titan and put myself as Aaron Yeager or some bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I feel like doing when it comes down to it. <laughs> For now, uh, let me drop my links and then we can read someone so I can go to sleep and get some stuff done for my meeting, yeah? Here's my Twitter, if you're new, or my Discord. And um, we have a channel called Pam Chat, where we often chat about different stuff. My music, if you want to hear any of my singing. My store, Play Asia. Anything you buy there through my link helps support the streams. And... What's the other one? Twitch, <laughs> where I sometimes stream on occasion, but not as much. YouTube is my main platform. Um... Remember, if you're new here as well, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the stream. Um, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe come back and leave a comment. Liking and leaving a comment really does, really does help the algorithm show me to more people. And if you want to see more and you're new, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Because I want to continue it hopefully next week. <laughs> so make sure, make sure you don't. You don't miss it. You don't miss it. <laughs> that being said, I will find someone to raid now and go on my ending stream. <laughs> Always good vibes. I'm glad. That's why, like, even if I'm not feeling well, the thing is, what I what I, I've said before, what I'm dealing with right now is kind of like um, it's stuff that that's not gonna go away for a long time. Like, I'm sure you guys have dealt with this before. I, I, I will preface with I'm not dying. <laughs> so don't worry. Hello, Strider. But I am I am dealing with stuff that requires a specialist. And that can be really hard to get into. So it's kind of like until then, I just have to wait it out and be strong. <laughs> so if I just have to wait it out and be strong, you know, I'd rather... As long as I'm well enough to get started, I'd rather hang out with you guys. Because then at least I'm distracted. If I'm gonna feel like shit, I'd rather be happy and feel like shit, you know? <laughs> so I'd rather stream. <laughs> That's why it's like, as long as I'm up to it, my stamina just might not be quite as good, which is why most days I've been doing one. Um, but I want to try getting back into doing two a bit now that my energy is at least a little better than it was. Um, I'm still not perfect. I'm still more tired than before I got COVID, but a lot better. I haven't had to nap every day anymore. I still need caffeine to stream, but I, I don't have to nap every day, which is big progress. <laughs> uh, with that being said, um, I'm gonna go see who we can raid. And then, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let me check if an announcement's been made for what I'm doing on Saturday. I wanna mention it. If an announcement has been made, um, I think so. Mmm. Let me take a look. Mmm. I don't think there's an announcement saying it's me. Okay, it's a secret for now. <laughs> I'll be on a collab on someone else's channel on Saturday. And I'm also thinking... That, oh, go ahead! Cool! Okay! <laughs> I'm doing an interview on VTuber Talk's channel, who very conveniently at the perfect time showed up in chat. <laughs> Hello! Thank you for the invite and for popping by at literally the perfect time. <laughs> cool! 
cool. I'm doing, I'm doing an interview with VTuber Talk. Now, now I know I can say it. <laughs> It'll be on their channel, though. Mm -hmm. Um... That being said, earlier on in the day, because that'll be that'll be at night. I think we're doing like 10 p.m. EST-ish. Um, so, um, earlier on in the day, because VKET, um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's kind of like a VR chat version of Comiket type thing. It's like a big convention. Um, I'm thinking of streaming that in VR chat on Saturday. Um, going and exploring a bit. If I don't do it, I might do it as a member stream next week. But I'm thinking it would be fun. It's a bunch crazy. Here's the subscribing. I think it would be a fun chill time um, to go and stream that. It'll probably be um, a shorter stream just because my VR tends to die kind of quickly. <laughs> uh, so if it ends up being really short and we only last an hour or two, I might try to cram in a flute stream as well. We'll see. Um, or I might take the rest of the day to rest. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. Mm. All right, now I'm going to actually go to my end screen and then find someone to raise. <laughs> Okay, give me a minute just to get rid of the old image. Okay. Bye-bye! <laughs> I'll see you guys on Saturday! Tomorrow I have CEO meeting and then I die! Bye-bye! <laughs> okay. I'm fine. I'm a fine. Raid people. Mm. my monitor real quick to do the raid. Hold on. Let me save the game just to make sure I did and turn off my PS5 and then I'll swap the monitors back. I think my monitor is too small to raid. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Okay, hold on. to some smaller people. Uh, I'll raid the Niji people if I can't find anyone smaller, but I feel kind of rude every time I raid someone that big. <laughs>
person's still going. I rated them, I think, once before. We're not mutuals. So be extra respectful and nice. Because we, we are not mutuals. And I think they're streaming in Japanese right now, so be nice. <laughs> Actually, I think they're doing a bilingual stream, so it should be okay. We're going to raid Pale, who is playing Hollow Cure. She is very, very cute. And um, the chat isn't loading for me, so please uh, be extra respectful. I don't think I'm gonna be able to interact with the stream. <laughs> um, Pale's Rules. She is a Japanese VTuber who also streams in English sometimes. Um, she doesn't have rules listed, so be very respectful. Remember that English is a language she's learning. She's not super confident with it yet, so make sure to be very kind and welcoming and help her to feel confident learning. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can. Um, I'm trying to see if I can cheat something and get the chat working. cheat the chat into working. Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, she does speak English too. That's why I said to be respectful just to keep in mind that it's not her first language. But she does speak English on stream. Yeah, yeah, bilingual. Okay, I got it to work. We're gonna read Pale! Have a good time! 